Yes, okay, here we are, <laughs> right? Sorry, I was recording yesterday, so I had to set some things up. Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, and welcome back to Arcanites. How are you guys doing? Also, welcome back, Google. Presumably back, things are hectic. No worries, girl. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things are well. Tips for Dora. <laughs> hello, hello. Also, hi, Mateo, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Uh, today is the final, final day. Of the uh, of the Jessica event, so let's get through that. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I did uh, I did some work. <laughs> you could say also, what is this? Is this the what they announced yesterday? The yeah, or last night. So uh, speaking of Horn, <laughs> one of the characters that we're missing, gonna be a little joint operation, I guess, or like the I guess to make you. Oh yeah, because they're doing another chapter, right, of the main story. So I guess they're. Uh, what what do they call incentivizing people to um to play more of the main story with this? Um, so yeah, I I, I really want to get those, but I don't know. We'll we'll see we'll see <laughs> if we had if we get certificates for for that, then definitely. But we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> doing good. How are y'all? It's, it's been well. Yeah. Um, I I got the heater on this time because yeah, last time I, I wasn't expecting the cold, but uh, now we're we're prepared. Four weeks banner, I don't know why we'll be Wait, is it four weeks? What the heck? Oh yeah, what the heck is a whole month? Whoa. What? Because <laughs> the event, or the event lasts uh, that long. I'm assuming the banner probably... Oh no, the banner lasts see, like half of that, but the, the, yeah, the event is a whole month. What the? I thought, that, yeah, after the Jessica event, it was going to be the, um, the limited banner thing, but I guess not. Dang. <laughs> The one time they're giving us time to save up, and I'm, uh, I'm kind of sad. So I guess I, I should just focus on keep saving for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if we get certificates and stuff, I guess we can do some pulls on the banner. But, yeah, that, that's wild. We still have Syrah. Is the Syrah Kusabi run going to be before Limited? Because last time the summer event was first, like the, the Limited, like the main, or the, the new event, I guess. Uh, the Limited event. And then, and then the... Um, what do you call it? And then the the rerun, right? Was it? Was it? Well, actually, I don't remember if it was before and after now. But I think I want to say it was after, right? The um, what is it? Not the oh what? Huh? Okay, I don't I don't know what that was. Oh, I think it's because I we downloaded. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, the ideal city. I think I thought it was after the event, after the event, after the limited event. But I could be mistaken. Interesting. We have Syracuse in each chapter in, in content. Oh, there's gonna be a new CC. But they will throw one of them before big event. Yeah, that, that will make sense. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I guess we still have some time. I guess I, I'll just keep saving for the next one then or something. <laughs> That's all good. But anyway, for now, we gotta finish reading through the story and then we'll unlock the EX stages to do those. Yeah, I haven't unlocked that. I was thinking maybe I could like just yeah, skip this one to unlock the stage, or uh, the DX stages. But now let's just let's go in blind for the for the X stages today. I think last time we did finish CV six, right? Also, let me know if the music is a little loud, or it's too loud. It is a little loud on my on my headset. But yeah, hopefully it's fine for you guys. So I think yeah, I'm pretty sure we read this because I remember we started from here last time, or uh, yeah, the, the last. Chapter that we read. Uh, I've also been preparing a play development plan. Yeah, they were talking about that, yeah. But exciting news. Sure, the rest of those concrete plans for a number, including. Yeah, yeah, Davistown. I remember that. Okay. Today's monumental day. Yeah, we're actually consciously doing the EX stages. There was one event, right? Like the read event, where we also did some EX stages. Um, I guess this will be similar in that I don't know if we'll get through all of them, but let's see how many we, we get through. But yeah. Oh, is it these guys that got kicked out? Traveling out into the... Out of the city. Oh, man. New Year's came and went, but the freezing wind and snow continue to nip at Davis Town, leaving that a shred of warmth. Hmm. Amidst the crowd outside the plate, waiting for the ride, Miles drowsily thinks of himself, 
How long has it been since he's waited, waited for a bus like this in the cold? So, what kind of place are you headed in the frontier, old man? Headed to in the frontier. Somewhere warmer than here, at least. Don't worry about me. They showed me mercy by allowing me to be buried along with my old neighbors. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's done is done, kid. Best to move on and stay out of trouble. Right, I just remember. The last time I was waiting for a ride like this, it was to head to a nomadic city to attend my little sister's funeral. It was a cold day just like this one. Elena, Woodrow, and Leone. They all stayed with me while I waited for the convoy to show up. I was holding a bouquet stuck inside a vase from Helena's diner and wearing an old suit Leon has lent me. Freeze my ass off for hours. Hey Negan, welcome back. How you doing today? Monumental day, yeah. Weirdly, I can even clearly remember how long Woodrow's spirit was that day. But everything after I got on the bus is just a blur. Like, lo like looking through a win through a layer of frost frosted glass. Sorry. I, I, th this time, you know when I say I just had breakfast, this time I really just had breakfast, like five minutes before the stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a little burpy again, sorry. I think I went to a huge city, but it also seems smaller than Davistown. I think I cried a lot, but it also feels like I didn't cry at all. After that, it's just me hoping, hopping on a bus back to town, and my friends helping me get off. I actually do remember what happened after that. I went to Helena's place and started drinking and drinking. Got pretty sloshed, but I somehow still remember everything I said that night. Status breakfasted, heck yeah. <laughs> the convoy to the front oh uh a convoy, the convoy to the frontier has arrived. Hop on the bus, people of Davis Town. <laughs> Dang, okay, <laughs> very excited, I guess. Even my precious baby sister's gone. All I got left is Davis Town. And I'm gonna follow her to the grave, damn it. You hear me, Leone? I'm gonna dig my, gra my grave here, and when the time comes... Don't you act like I've for Don't you act like I've forgotten, Miles. You told me, when the time comes, stuff my body into the plant's surface, and see if my ashes can make the people here sneeze. <laughs> what? The engineer, the engineer throws his head back and takes another huge swig. As soon as you finished talking, the town was perfectly fine, but I was the one who got the mother of all sneezes. <laughs> Back then, nobody laughed. Nobody could laugh at all. But now, it seems so damn funny. What do you think? Don't just sit there all quiet. Drink, Miles, drink! Hey, Red, how's it going? Welcome. Good, good afternoon, good day, good evening, good... Well, what is the... Um... What's it called? I, uh, now I forget. <laughs> the Truman Show thing. If I don't see you, good day, good evening, goodbye, good night, something like that. <laughs> the crew will be gathering, yep. Oh yeah, I remember that scene when these two had that little dance. Hmm. I was thinking about that yesterday, actually. Good time of the day. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Redhead, how you doing today? Hope you're well. Uh, yeah, let's see. Sorry we're late. What true, Helena? Where's Leone? Right before we left, he said he needed some time to figure things out. Said he'd be back later, then popped, up, popped open another bottle. But we're out of time. No big deal, if anything. Maybe it's better this way. Oh. Tch, damn weather. Why does it have to be so cold? Well, once you're on that bus, you can kiss this weather goodbye. What, bro? I had nothing wrong with what he said. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing, Jessica. This whole damn time, it was the bank, the, the bank's fault, Black Steel's fault, and sometimes even our own fault. But you, you never did nothing wrong. So stop blaming yourself. We weren't expecting much from you. We we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. Dang. Miles realizes his mistake the moment he, the world leave his, leave his lips. But before he has a chance to explain himself, the convoy leader has already grabbed his arm. No, I, I feel that, Miles. I, I get that. Then pretty good. Got some days of school because I got like good test grade. Nice! Hey, that's a W. Hey. 
Good on you, Rev. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this resting time. Very nice. If you had something to say, you should have said it earlier. Now get on, you're the last one. Okay, I don't think he was saying it that way, but you know. Probably a little more grumbly. Jessica, I... If we wait any longer, I trust you'll take personal responsibility for any rust, rust hammers or catastrophes that show up. Now we're gonna move on. What is a rust hammer? I haven't heard about that. Interesting. Don't take it the wrong way, Jessica. That's no, not how he meant it. Right. Oh, hold on. I know, but he's not wrong either. I've done so much here, but in the end, I never actually accomplished anything. Nothing changed. Well, something's changed. Hmm. Who is it? Oh, Woodrow? Or is it Helena? Stop rushing me. I already said I'm over it. I'm gonna go see Miles off. Oh. Sylvie? What do you want? Ha. <laughs> What? You're here to chase me out, too? Unlike like what Leone is used to seeing, Sylvia does not apologize, bow her head, and run off. She stands there for a moment, tightly clutching something to her chest, then stiffly puts one foot forward and walks into the diner. She keeps walking until she reaches the seat closest to the counter, hits down with her back to the door, and stares straight at the empty chair in front of her. Mr. Thurman... What is this music, by the way? What is this? I think it might be a little loud, so I'm gonna lower it just a tad. There we go. Mr. Thurman, are Woodrow and Helena going to come back? Woodrow and Helena? How's that any of your business? They want to see Miles off. The cold wind blowing in, the, in, in from the back, from the crack in the door, Sylvia left behind the whispers as it circles past the mouth of the empty, empty beer bottle. It sends a shiver down Leona's spine. They went to see Miles off and we'll be back in a bit, but nobody wants to see you, got it? If you do, then scram. Just leave me alone. Celia's fingers are tightly clasped together on top of the table. She gulps down a mouthful of water and forces herself to turn and look at Leon's face. It is then that he finally sees what that he finally sees what she's what she had been clutching. A ring, silver in color, with a few diamond inlaid across it. Yep. Mr. Thurman, I can't... Who gave you that ring hanging around, hanging around your neck? The ring? Couldn't have been me or Penny, so that leaves... Him? Their eyes meet. Sylvia nods slightly and clutches the ring once again. Her eyes burning with an almost crazed determination. Dang. The look in her eyes reminds Leon of someone. Carl's eyes. Yep. The night before he departed, he disappeared for a few hours, and when he returned, his eyes looked exactly like those of the person now in front of him. Ooh. Do you have a plan or something? Or is just a... Uh... He's having a moment. Hmm. <laughs> the uncommitable. <laughs> well, he mingled. Hmm. You know, Jessica, our team also has to pull out of Davistown the moment we receive the order. Whatever else happens here, we have to return to the ship. I know, I know that. We are leaving. Miles has already left. Woodrow and Helena said they're leaving too. Leone probably won't stay either. Everyone will be gone. But I... What have I done for them? Well, if you ask me, you cleaned up the bandits terrorizing the place, helped Leone save his house, and told Cliff that the bank had overstepped his authority, even if you don't want to acknowledge it. Yeah, exactly. But in the end, it was all in vain. I... I let everyone down. Or maybe even worse, it's just as Miles said. Nobody expected anything from me in the first place. It's all because I went and stuck my nose where it didn't belong. Jessica! No, even so, I still... Laura... I need to go out for a walk. Now's not the time for that. We're about to return to the landship. I'll help you pack your stuff so you take a nice nap. I'll take you up when it's time to go, okay? I have to do this. Where are you going? I don't know. You sure about this? Mm-hmm. 
Don't take too long, okay? I... I'll try my best. Ooh, what's her? I feel like she does have a plan. But I don't know, it, it might be. Or maybe she doesn't. <laughs> no, could go either way. Stop drinking already, Leon. Wait, you're sober? As sober as I ever am. <laughs> Wait, and Sylvia? What's she doing here? She insisted on waiting for you to for you two to get back, so she could have a chat with all of us. Oh, determined Sylvia, alright. Standing up from her seat, still gripping the ring tightly. Blue veins are visible across her white knuckles. Helena, Woodrow, Mr. Thurman. I I know of some money in the bank. Of course there's money in the bank. What's the point of telling us that? I mean, Black still delivered a large sum of cash to, res to serve as reserve funds, and it's all sitting in a vault right now. Oh yeah, the smell that they were talking about at the end of the previous chapter. Why? The bank wants to prepare for Davistown's new residence. Yep. They're going to clear out the entire plate to, to welcome the precision technicians, R&D personnel, and managers that form the cornerstones of the new industries. To meet the demand for their deposits and loans, there's a lot more cash in the bank than usual. Maybe enough to let a large group of people start a new life in the frontier. So, that's the situation. Yo, what the heck? What, GTA mission type beat? What the? Let's go robbery! Let's go! That's it? What are you getting at, Sylvia? Someone actually sober wouldn't be asking that, Leon. <laughs> right. <laughs> but here's my question. If you're saying that I th what I think you are, I need to know. Sylvia, do you expect us to return the money to its rightful owners? Or do you want us to take it? By force. Good question. Sylvia nods slightly in an almost unrecognizable matter, manner, then continues fidgeting with a ring on her chest while waiting for the final judgment. The dinner is deathly quiet. The diner. The, the dinner. <laughs> the dinner is quiet. I mean, I, I hope it will be. At least we're all on the same page. Leone, you in or not? Say something. You have to go for a bit, see you guys. See you later, Mateo. Yeah, hope it goes well. <laughs> no, I... I know this money should have should have been ours, but... I don't want to be a criminal scum, like those bandits. You really think the bandits were the biggest crooks in Davistown? Exactly. <laughs> Was the bank all, all along. So, you're with her, Woodrow? No. No? <laughs> She's like, I am. I admire her courage, but this is too much of a long shot. For example, Sylvia, you got a map of the bank? Yes. Give it here. I don't have anything on paper, but I do know that it's a hundred paces from the bank's front entrance to the master control switch, based on my stride that I'd make it about 200 feet. Before that, there are three turns, at steps 44, 74, and 93. The landmarks are a plotted, a potted, pan, a, 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 potted, a potted plant, a floor lamp, and a counter. From the master control switch to the entrance of the vault, you have to pass through the reception room, go through a hidden doorway, and then down a 36 step stairwell. Afterward, there will be a straight path which will take- Okay, someone needs to write this down, <laughs> yeah. When the boys decide to casually commit robbery, you don't say no. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're thinking. I think he's still thinking about it. Hopefully. You... You actually memorized all that? Yeah, she's been counting her steps all this time. Interesting. Hi, CJ. Welcome. How you doing today? Hope you're well. We're uh, reading through a little bit more of the story, and then we'll go do some, some stages. So, yeah. I'm doubtful. Sylvia, how far is it from your seat to the entrance of the diner? I just walked 18 paces, and after the 6th step, I made a right angle turn for a total distance of about 36 feet. She didn't memorize it. She's just been there countless times, as you just heard. Right. Woodrow, what do you reckon our odds are if you joined us? And what about with Leone? How are we supposed to get all this cash out, out, out to the frontier without leaving any traces? I can take care of that. What, what does that mean? I don't doubt you can survive out there, but what about the money? 
Lena lets out a sigh. She nimbly hops over the bar counter, picks up the knife on the table, and bends down to pry open the floorboards. Creak, creak. <laughs> Pop. Good, good old sound effects. A cloud of dust, ancient and full of history, rises from her feet. What the? Don't act like you got me all figured out just because you found that box when the water leaked. The man who left me this place as well as his passbook. Any idea when I met him? Surprise me. When I was 18, at the time, my old man was trying to sell me to his boss's son so he could climb up the ranks. When I heard the news, I ran to the bar and hid there all night, which is where I met him. In the end, we hopped on this burden beast in the dead of night and rode until that sti st stifling old place was nothing but a distant memory. Wait, you loved with him when you were 18, but by the time you got here... We'd broken up. Hadn't seen him for over two decades. I lived by my lonesome on the frontier for over 20 years. You think after, after all that time, I wouldn't have learned how to line my, my petticoats with the gold bags? Lena flashes a sweet smile, removes the weapon from her shoulder, and places it on the table in front of Sylvia. Let's go. <laughs> on Sheets family gun. Yeah, di didn't you call that good? Like the, you said it was the trope, the classic trope of the, the bartender with the, the, the gun in underneath the desk. It was, you know, it was technically underneath the desk, underneath the floorboards too, but you know. If you boys ain't, if you boys ain't in, I'll do it myself. You and Sylvia are going to rob a bank? Use the two of you? Well, it could be three. Maybe I'll be caught outside the vault. Maybe I'll get trapped inside and end up a pile of bones buried in cash. Maybe I'll, dry, I'll die trying to escape. Either way, as long as I draw breath, I will see this done. That's how I'm approaching this, anyhow. Now, I need to know where you two stand. Leona takes out a, a wrench from his tool belt and places it next to Helena's weapon. <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> Your move, Woody. Who's there? Oh, let's go, Jessica. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I looked over and I thought Jessica was holding the glass this time. <laughs> Your bar at the frontier and away surviving empty-handed. Yeah, of course. Jessica, what are you... Why now, of all times? I... I didn't... I don't know. You don't know? But I need to do something. I need to make a difference. If what Miles said is still bothering you, you'd best just forget about it. You still got the time, the energy, to do so many great things. No need to tie yourself down to Davistown and a bunch of old fo fogies past our prime. And my axe, and my bow, and my yo-yo. <laughs> Shut up, Ethan. <laughs> now let, it, let him cook. Let Ethan cook. No, Woodrow. Too many times now, I've had the drive, but kept falling short for any number of reasons. I didn't have the ability or the time. The situation changed on me. Orders or requests. Even now, I'm not sure what it is I can do. I'm stuck watching helplessly as you're all driven away one by one, to an uncertain future in the frontier. If I don't make a difference this time, I feel like I might get used to it, to never making a difference. And if that happens, I can see myself believing. Uh, I can see myself believing to protect my own mental health, or to protect my own mental health. That I've always been incompetent. That I could never protect anyone. I can see myself thinking there was never any special meaning to picking up to picking up a gun. That I just make a wrong turn somewhere in life and was stuck with it. I, I don't want that to happen. So much so that I die to make sure it doesn't. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Sylvia? If you truly see this as your last chance, well, this is also our last chance to take back what's rightfully ours from the bank. Will you help us, Jessica? Let's go, Sylvia, with the initiative. As soon as Sylvia stands up, Jessica sees the look on her face. Her complexion is frighteningly pale, but her cheeks are unusually sa sanguine, I guess. Sanguine? In a way that only serves to make the former more shocking. Actually, yeah, how do you pronounce that? It's one of those words that you read, but you never say, so you're not like... Sanguine. Sanguine. And you show it's sanguine. Okay, I, th I think I got it right the first time. <laughs> More or less. Interesting. Enough. Oh, and my gun. Whoa, what, bro? Why are you pointing your gun at me? 
Forget everything you just heard and scram. Why? What's the meaning of this? We have to get to the bank. Sylvia. And take back what belongs to Davis Town. Take back? Go, Jessica. Go back to your friends. What row? You came here for a shoulder to cry on, and we offer you a hot drink and a pat on the shoulder. No more, no less. You're still young. Every day of your life is a new beginning. I'm serious. Exsanguination of Sylvia. <laughs> As if her tears had frozen over and evaporated, Jessica's vision suddenly becomes clear. She sees the unusual blush across Sylvia's cheeks. She sees the wrench and the unfamiliar weapon sitting on the table. She sees the dark hole in the muzzle of Woodrow's gun. For the first time in her life, she makes up her mind in a split second. She walks towards Woodrow's pistol, approaches Sylvia, and draws her own gun from her waist before placing it in front of the in the table in front of her. On the table in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> on means on top of. So yeah. I'm in. Let's go. And my and my wallet. <laughs> um, wait, wait, we're not gonna need it for this one, Jessica. No. <laughs> no, but we got this. Come on, the gangs already. Well, we should have recruited the yeah the the other black steel people. Well, like Frank and Liskarm and Almond. <laughs> That's it. No one else, cause no no one else can be trusted. I feel. All squads are fully prepared and ready to return to the landship at a moment's notice. Where's Jessica? Still can't reach her? Her communicator is broken again. Twice in one operation? That's too much of a coincidence. What is that girl up to? Oh, oh, she's back. Jessica, you're finally back. Or maybe that's what she's doing. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Laura's already packed your bags. It's not that. I... I'm... here to say goodbye. Oh. Goodbye? Are you applying for temporary leave? I guess. <laughs> and your reason for doing so? Personal reasons. There's some personal stuff... There's some personal stuff I have to do, no matter what. And how long will you be gone? I don't know. Maybe a week? Maybe a year? Did you hit your head? Do you, really, do you really expect us to grant temporary leave for up to a year? If that isn't an option, then... Can I hand in my resignation? You're quitting? Ah, right. You said from the start that you're here to say goodbye. And goodbyes don't need an application. I don't know what brought this on all of a sudden. But I need to remind you. If you leave the team, everything you've worked so hard for in Blacksteel will likely go up in smoke. Whatever it is you need to do, are you willing to trade all your efforts until now for it? Hmm? I think she might be. Ooh. Flashback. These are the last explosives left in the mine. Let's go grab them. Okay. Oh, flashback of something we haven't seen, I guess. Hmm. I'll do the inspection. You go ahead and rest for now. Um, Leone. What is it? Are you sure about this? About blowing up the furnace? I know I shouldn't be saying this, but you were so reluctant when we talked about blowing up the energy tower. We don't blow it up. How else are we gonna seal the secret passage and hide Helena's whereabouts? But for what I personally think, it ain't important. It don't matter no more. There ain't a single thing left in Davistown that can be fixed up. But if we get that money, there's still hope for us. Someday down the road, out on the frontier, right? There will be, for sure. <laughs> hope, hope. Who knew one last grim glimmer of hope will be so damn expensive? But for this last bit of hope, for this ticket not to reach to the end of the line today, I have to accept that, even if it costs me my life. Damn, okay, don't talk like that. Let's 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 relax. <laughs> let's, let's, let's calm down here. I have no idea what you're trying to accomplish, Jessica, but can you guarantee you won't regret it? No, but gotta try. Please no flags, Leon, exactly. <laughs> don't bring them up. 
Don't put them up. When using the welding gun, pay attention to the angle between it and the weld. Holding it too high causes spattering and makes it easy to get hurt. For a woman who runs a diner, you sure know way too many things. Heh. <laughs> I spent more than two decades traveling across Grand Ole Colombia. I had a lot of choices. When you got dumped, did you ever think about going home? I like how she said it, get, getting dumped. Dumped, yeah, exactly. Dumped? Oh, I get it. I must have, must have gotten the wrong idea. Uh, hi, Angzepe. Welcome. Nah, I'm the one who dumped him. He ended up being a real by the book sort of fella. Didn't suit that gruff face face of it, that gruff face of his one bit. Back then, I was dead set on traveling across Colombia with him, but he thought it was too wild. Still, we supported others across the parents, and I ain't saying it was a bad life. But one night, he suddenly proposed to me. He said he couldn't stand all that wandering no more, that he wanted to settle down on some plate. Oh, what the my chat is breaking. There we go. <laughs> Going through the same motions in the same place over and over again. I couldn't imagine a worse punishment. So I turned him down, left him all my money and possessions, and told him I'd make a terrible wife. Then he mounted my burden beast and rode off into the sunset. Dang. But he still then ended up in Davis Town. In his letter, he said he'd finally fulfill his old dream and wanted me to drop by to visit. So I came here, thinking the whole trip about how to turn him down in a way that let him keep his middle-aged dignity. But, you know the rest. I was too late. He'd already passed away. Right, I remember that. And then you inherited his diner and stayed. Didn't inherit it. I recaptured it. It had been ransacked by a gang of thugs. Must have fought off at least 15 of them. Huh? That's how life is. Romantic stories ain't, all, ain't always have romantic reasons. More often than not, the journey is just the punchline. The journey? Wait, did it say the journey is just the punchline? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> all these years, have you ever had any regrets? Regrets? Like, for eloping, for breaking up, for not being able to see him one last time. Or for staying behind in Davistown. Stuff like that. Nope. I feel bad about a lot of things, but I wouldn't say I regret them. I've enjoyed the results of my choices and have accepted the cost. I'll be a complete peace of mind. There you go. That's what she has to do, huh? I, I don't know. <laughs> Conclusion? I, I don't know. Judge still out on that. He made such a huge decision without even thinking it through. Strength before weakness, journey before destination, life before death. Dang, that's a good one too. And that's not what I mean. I've given a lot of thought to your questions, and I've heard other people's answers too. In a sense, I even agree with them. But I can just regurgitate? That's how it is, right? Regurgitate. I think I think that's how it is. <laughs> English language, kind of, kind of stuff. Regurgitate. Actually. Yeah, regurgitate. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy about the word regurgitate. I can't just regurgitate what they said and let them make. Sorry, and let them make my choices for me, because in the end, their answers aren't mine. I don't know if throwing away my past life is too steep a cost. I don't know if I'll regret this later. Nor do I know what will happen to me in the future. But despite all that, I have to do this. Exactly. I understand. Nevertheless, I have to reject Jessica's Jessica Brindley's request to be temporarily discharged from the team. I see. Then I'll have to resign. Jessica. Liz Carm. Captain? Even the sleekest, most experienced veterans who don't give two craps about their job wouldn't throw around the world the word resign as casually as you do. But I also have to imagine that maybe what I'm seeing here is Jessica who's finally cast aside her fears and self-doubt. A Jessica who's truly found herself. I still object to your decision, vehemently. 
I'm uh, not looking up that one, but I, I, I think I got it. <laughs> but you made up your mind. Just for the sake of getting through this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. Give it a break already. And stay safe out of there. And, say, and stay safe out there. Jessica. I'm sorry, Laura. Tell you the truth. I had an inkling this will happen when I couldn't contact you. But if you've already made up your mind, can I get one last hug? Think of it as a partial gift. Before Jessica can answer, Laura has already taken a few steps forward and wrapped her arms tightly around her. With her back to Liz Carmen and Franca, she also stuffs a tiny slip of paper into Jessica's pocket. Wait until we're get wait until we're gone to read it. Take care. Stay safe. Anything else we need to do, Captain? No. Then, let's get going. Oh, I guess these guys were just there. <laughs> Alright. Excuse me. Ooh, cool CG. Oh, I guess to signify that this is still a flashback. Hmm. Woodrow, are you only one really going to be safe out there in the woods? For the heist, there will definitely be a bunch of people after you. Wait, did it? Yeah, yeah, that was Jessica. You really need to start thinking about your own future, instead of fretting over us geezers. I haven't given it much thought. Maybe I'll have plenty of time to figure it out from a jail cell. Not planning on staying a mercenary? I just don't want to spend the rest of my life on a battlefield. Jessica, whether you decide to keep fighting or to put the battlefield behind you, I just hope you won't blame yourself for not finding an answer. What did you end up choosing? After the Revolutionary War, I stumbled around bl blindly for a long, long time, until I finally decided to live a boring life, day by day. Circus Iron is from Colombia. Naturally, yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm a Syracuse, <laughs> Syracuse I'm a Colombian at heart, yeah. Does that, does that really count as an answer? Why not? Just because you're the one who... The, the only one who thinks so, doesn't mean it's wrong. You're still young. Got a long road ahead of you. Can I... Find my answer? As she looks at the now abandoned safe house, Jessica feels a soreness coming from her nose. She sniffles and gives it a rub, then opens up the slip of paper be from before. Following the instructions of a few numbers scribbled on the note, Jessica turns to an in inconspicuous corner of the safe house where she finds a partition made from wooden boards. Five, six, seven. The back of the eighth board is hollow. Ooh. The cavity behind the board is filled, filled to the brim with equipment, all brought here by Jessica herself and she, when she set out from Black Steel's landship. Sitting on top is another, another note in the same style of scribbles. I'll take it you have unfinished business in Davistown. This gear should come in handy. Dang! Prepared. Saddest bank robber in history of terror. <laughs> Just forget about everything else and do it. I believe in, your in the choice you've made, so believe in yourself too. At the bottom of the note is one last line. Goodbye, Jessica. Hopefully, we already parted ways on a high note. Hmm. That's nice. Dang. Almost the goat. Oh, there we go. She's got the full equipment, full kit. Sorry, I'm not late, am I? I needed some time to sort through to sort through my gear. It's fine. We still got five minutes. Where did you get all this stuff? A parting gift from my friend. Then I'll have to give him right and uh, write a proper thank you if you ever if we ever meet again. One last rundown. After we got through the door, Helena, Helena and Leone are in charge of clearing any obstacles and grabbing the money. Jessica and I will be on crowd control. Then we catch up afterwards. Crowd control. Okay. Once the deed is done, Helena takes the money with her through the secret passage, while the rest of us draw attention away from her. Any questions? If only there were more explosives. 
We gotta give that bank a little surprise. Settle down. If, we, if the info we got from Sylvia is correct, we'll need to save most of them to breach the last door. Still can't believe I see a Sancta robbing a bank. Yep, here we go. We're actually seeing it. The key to our success is speed. We don't have much time. The mercs on duty will be back in half an hour. <laughs> That's my point. And if we, even if we can get the job done in time, the, exp the explosion will definitely attract Black Seal's attention. However, most of the mercenaries are back on the landship tonight, and it'll, and it'll take them time to arrive. If it comes to that, just leave it to me. I'll buy you the time you need. Time to go. Let's go. In the bank. Who the hell are you? Damn. Hands of the alarm. Ah. This is a robbery. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you shouldn't have been the one to say it, Jessica. Wait, that's a screenshot right there. As long as you all cooperate, nobody's getting hurt or dying tonight. No way. How is this happening? Shh. See, you're in the same boat as the other as the other young lady over there. This is your one warning. We won't be so kind next time. Now then, folks, just don't panic and follow our, our instructions. Those are the conditions for your survival. Seeing how there are no objections, why don't y'all moosey on over to the main lobby and squat down with your hands on your head? We all know each other here, no funny business. Now move it. Dang. <laughs> Sorry Jesse, but this is Arknights. <laughs> You'll need to pass through a total of four doors to get to the vault. The first is the door to the reception area, which needs a key, but any employee can get it. The second is a passcode lock in the reception room. The code changes every day, but there are certain rules. From what I've gathered, today's code should be... Dang! See, she knows the pattern at this point. That's cool. Perfect. The reception room key force. Key, key, key works. What? Next up is a secret door, behind the tapest tapestry to the right of the entrance. Over here. Looks like Sylvia was right on the money. 794461. It worked. Well, I'll be damned. That girl's got one good head on her shoulders. I mean, yeah. Silky, Sylvia get a code and a haircut. She's the classic genius mastermind. <laughs> she will be, yeah. She needs that code for sure. What's next? Yeah, next up. Inside the vault, there are two more doors. One's a security fence. The other is a vault door weighing, weighing dozens of tons. The security fence can be broken through by force, but because it's connected to the security system, the only safe way through is vi via passcode. The code is split into three parts. One for president, one for the manager, and another randomly generated by a cipher. The cipher is located in a safe inside the reception room, and you'll have to force that one open. Dang. Whoa! How did it go? Didn't manage anything inside the safe, did you? Didn't damage you. Mint condition. Can't believe your skills haven't rusted after not using them in years. What's the matter? That was an invitation for you to start bragging. I mean, ain't nobody else in this town with your skill set. Don't mind me. Just worried how Woodrow's doing. Yeah, what's, what's he up to? No, he's the one in charge of the ad, <laughs> taking care of these guys. And that's number 22. Now you're all tied up. Next up is... Oh, hello. I never imagined this will be the circumstances we'd meet again in, Miss Brindley. I'd recommend worrying about your responsibilities first. Also, I've heard this bank keeps a, secret of, uh, a series of secret numbers, two of which are held by you and this gentleman here. I hope you're both willing to cooperate. Now take a walk with us. If you're not feeling cooperative, well, guess I'll have to shoot you. Pick up the pace. Damn. Let's go. Good evening, you two. Helena, what's the meaning of this? You got nothing to fear, sir. I just wanted to ask you a simple questions. A few simple questions. Will you tell us the passcode? Or do we tie you to, to this door and blast you both to pieces? Your choice. 
Friendly reminder, it is not a crime to reveal secrets under life-threatening duress. You damn thugs. Five. Don't even think about it. You bastards don't deserve a single penny. You all deserve to rot out in the frontier. Four. You complacent idiots put all your eggs into the mine. You, st you still have the gall to, to wind into the bank after getting wiped out. Very convenient that the president was here <laughs> during this time. Three. But I guess that's what the, yeah, the timing worked out. Nobody gives a damn about you rot your rotten minerals. This is the era of high-tech and autom automation now. Your only value to Colombia is to be thrown out to the frontier. The sooner the better. Two. You filthy uneducated hicks. You idiots don't even have a damn clue what numbers mean. Serves you right for getting tricked. One. So <laughs> Six by four seven eight four. <laughs> Huh. Never seen anyone spit out a string of numbers that fast. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that your boss has squealed, it's your turn, ma'am. Give me the passcode, or die. That was a long prelude, yeah. <laughs> that being said, 74... <laughs> now that I've said my piece, here we go. <laughs> that was That was good. Hurry up and tell them already. Do you really want to die here? Mr. Thurman, what would you even do with the money? Do you seriously think you can get rid of us and start over out in the frontier? On the frontier, I guess. Of course you can't. We are everywhere. We will follow your footsteps and find you no matter where you go. The money you steal will smell as sweet as honey. And soon enough, our local associates will swarm all over you to eat it up. And with the promise of a few extra benefits, They'll even personally deliver your heads to us on a platter or a silver platter. What's the damn passcode? Damn. Three six eight six five four. A lot of eights in these passcodes, I've noticed. Come on, take it. You want to accomplish a thing, my friends. Nothing will change. This tragedy is doomed to happen again and again. Shut up. Shut up. It is human nature to be greedy. And Mr. Thurman here is a prime example. Have he not been so eager to cling onto things that he n that never belonged to him? You shut your mouth! Oh! How far you've fallen to mingle with this sorry lot, Miss Jessica Brindley? Leonie Thurman here should, could have left this place ages ago, take his, taking his children with him to Iron Force City, Nulliteburg, or Bunker Hill. What kind of blasting engineer wouldn't be able to earn enough to put food on the table? How else will he have ended up like, if not for his for his greed? You... Leone, she's right. The door is open. Leone suddenly turns to look at Helena without saying a word. She is shocked to see the panic in his eyes. It takes her a few moments to understand why. Sorry, I meant... She gave us the right passcode. <laughs> I know, it's fine. I know. Oh. Let's consider everything he wanted to say before the showdown, yeah. He, he was able to squeeze it out at the end. If you manage to open the first three doors, congratulations. The last is merely an extra credit question. It appears the most complicated, but the solution is the simplest. Blast it open. Yo! I wonder if Emily's gonna cover for Jesse or she's gonna be disowned. I wonder, yeah. Leone, how are the explosives? Prime them ready. Do it. Yeah. Like a precise surgical operation, the steel bars buried deep within the concrete are located with pinpoint accuracy and twisted until they break under the force of the explosion. And my bombs. <laughs> The fuel ignites under tremendous temperatures, bursting into layers upon layers of flames that gently wrap around the steel. Then, at the moment it lets its guard down, all its defenses are stripped away. Sheesh. <laughs> Jessica is so anxious. The powerful backdraft caused by the explosion tears apart the stack of banknotes flowing in the upper level and the shredded paper is sent spiraling down the underground cavity. 
For a few moments, the snowfall here is heavier than it is outside. The four people present are rendered speechless by the snow that so many people could only dream of seeing. Sheesh. <laughs> this music though, like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> Breathtaking. Oh, almighty. I've never seen this much money in my life. But it's also nothing compared to what the bank has fled from us. No time for idle thoughts, folks. Start filling those bags. We got more than enough to keep us busy. Don't just stand there gawking. What are you thinking about? Nothing in particular. It's just... This is the first time in my life I've ever wanted money so badly. It feels new. And exciting. Dang, okay, Jessica. Don't, uh, don't break bad. <laughs> it's the only thing I ask of you. Dang, that was the end of that one. <laughs> that was good. I like this, uh, this chapter, specifically the, the both the before and after. That was good. Alright, let's continue. Oh, yep, let's get out of here. Hold on for 10 more minutes. Black Steel's convoy will be here soon. That's not going to take us the... That, that's not going to take us to the energy tower. I'll stay behind. You'll go on ahead. How much time can you buy us? How much time do you need? At least half an hour. Woodrow draws his revolver from his holster and counts the bullets. An hour, maybe? You need time to set the explosives, too. More than enough. Woodrow. Goodbye, Woodrow. Hurry. R right, Jessica. What is it, sir? Thanks. Thanks for bringing it all the way here. Woodrow fixes his head and turns around to walk down the long street. Soon, his silhouette has disappeared into the night, leaving only a farewell ringing in the air. Until we meet again, friends. Ooh. Oh, new, new CG, let's go. <laughs> Sir, we finished testing- oh no, this is the hanger of the, the, the thing, yeah, that's right. Rare woody moments. Yeah, that was cool. Goodbye, cowboy. <laughs> oh, so long, partner, yeah. Sir, so, sir, <laughs> we finished testing the propulsion equipment. The engineering team is double-checking the connection's structural integrity now. Sir? What's the ETA for departure? Everything should be ready by Wednesday. Good. Very good. Pardon me, but I have something to report. I'll take my leave then. Alright. What is it? The team stationed on the plate has requested backup. They say a gang of robbers have blown open the bank's vault... Uh, the, vo the, open's bank vo <laughs> the bank's vault door and stolen all the reserve funds inside. There are four of them, and they've all been identified. It's Mr. Bianchi and his friends, as well as... As well as who? As well as Miss Brindley. Huh. <laughs> Should we send anyone? Considering that you just sent away all the security personnel stationed at the bank the other day? <laughs> she did what? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that, just... Huh. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe he was like... Well... <laughs> I, I was expecting that to happen sooner or later. <laughs> Let's prioritize preparing the tow to the plate... To tow the plates. No need to stop the work we have on hand, but send out anyone we have to spare. One more thing. Considering Miss Brindley's unique status, should we... Don't hurt her. We have to save face for the Brindleys, after all. As for Woody, I don't see us subduing him uninjured. Forget it. Oh, wait, was that...? No, that was, that was him, yeah. Forget it. Just make sure he stays alive. As for the rest, let the troops do as they see fit. Damn. All right, understood. Ain't my problem. <laughs> right, which one's carrying the cash? Still unclear. No matter who it is, send Tila and, and have her keep her keep a close eye. Oh, Tila's coming. Okay. Have you heard the news? Jessica, we have to do something. The order from above is that, aside from Jessica and Woodrow, the team can deal with anyone else as they see fit. That's all it says. Ranka. 
Tell everyone to prepare to deploy. We got the order to hunt them down too. And you're going to follow it? We can help them, or we could take them in. But either way, it's a race against time. We need to find them before anyone else does. Let's go. Mm. Good thing of having allies on, on that side, I guess. Helena, Helena, Leone, this is as far as I can take you. I'm hearing sounds of transport that aren't from Main Street. Black Steel probably sent additional men after us, just as we anticipated. Are we going through with are we going through with the plan? Yeah, I'll stay outside to lure them away. Godspeed. Give this last leg of the journey to us. Oop. Phew. Okay, Jessica. Now you can only trust yourself. Oh boy. It's certainly going down. Looks like Black Steel will be dragging the plate off to the city in the next couple of days. They only have a few a few guys guarding the door. Uh, but they have everyone else working on the connection. Perfect. Won't be too hard to deal with then. How are those soldiers doing? Sleeping like babies. Might wake up with a sore neck though. We need to hurry. If we want to blow up the power plant and seal off the passage completely, we need to set up the explosives there. You cannot trust anybody, even yourself. Real Ebenholtz moment, yeah. Look at those car lights. The Black Seal people must be getting close to the mine. Elena, you should go. I can take care of this by myself. Leone. Your job is more important. Dang. Oh. By the cinematic aspect ratio. We still haven't broken through their defenses? Not a single car can get close to the Central Avenue. How many robbers are there out on the street? Just one, a Sancta. Is it back up here yet? Not yet. Dang. <laughs> Let's stop the car here. Have, ev have everyone still with us bring the gear. We'll go around the road and break through from there. I'm um, electricity, my cut off in a minute. If I'm out, I gotta repair it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, no problem, girl. Yeah, hopefully it gets repaired soon. Ambush up ahead. Going back the... Whoop, sorry. There we go. Going back the bullet marks. That's, that's Black Steel's edge ammo. Good news, we found our princess. Give me the amplifier. Whoa. <laughs> Ahem. Miss Brindley. Whatever your reasons are for participating in this robbery, we won't make this hard on you as long as you cooperate and turn yourself in. Draw her attention. I'll send I'll send out a drone to track her. Dang! Stay back. I'm not surrendering. The bullet came from the diner over there. Let's get in position. We'll attack as soon as we are ready. Miss Brindley, you may not understand what's going to happen to you after this. You will be sent to prison, be abandoned by your friends and family, and society will look at you with disdain. Can you, re can you really bear all that? Sir, with all due respect, I've worked with everyone at Blacksteel for a long time now. I'm not that naive rich girl I used to be. I know better than anyone what the price of this is, but I still have to do it. There are some things you, to, you just do, no matter the price. Okay, I don't, I don't know that if that's convincing him, but I guess you just had to say it. <laughs> that guy up ahead, that him? Sure, he looks like a normal old man, but you see those transport flips upside down? He did that, damn. Like a wandering lost soul, the figure stands still in the middle of the road, under the flickering streetlights. Kid, is there something you can't say to my face? He can hear us from this far away? I've lived in far noisier places than this. I only survived this long thanks to my sharp ears. A legendary mercenary like you must have a lot of awe-inspiring stories to tell. A legendary mercenary. Now that's the first time anyone's described me like that. There's a long corridor in, in Blacksteel where pictures of our fo founder and his war bodies are hung. I saw one with you and our boss in it. It's inconspe inconspicuous, but I noticed it. What a shame. My story ain't as legendary as you think. All I've been through is war. That doesn't matter. Actually, I wanted to fight the boss for a quite for quite a while. For for quite a while, I guess. For yeah, for quite a while too. Still, 
He's the boss. I can exactly pull a gun on him. What if you and him are in the same picture, old man? I wonder what that says about your skills. Rotten. You mean so rotten that you could throw a dozen of our teams for a loop and single-handedly keep us pinned down on the street? I mean so rotten that everyone I've ever wanted to save died a miserable death right in front of me. Everything I ever wanted to protect fell before my eyes. Those I loved chose to leave me. Those I despised, I couldn't kill with my own hands. I ain't no legend. I'm just a failure, uh, an old failure of a bag beast. An old bag beast guarding the only bones that he has left. When he sees the old man's fingertips twitch, the mercenary keenly realizes that something terrible is about to go down. He aims his weapon at the target as fast as he can, but a bullet pierces his shoulder first. Damn. Ugh. Damn it. I can't even see what he's doing. So how come I'm starting to think this is getting fun? Stop approaching him, you madman. Careful. Not a step closer, kid. I'm putting everything on the line for this. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> so you came in here anyway. Miss Brindley, bullets can ricochet indoors. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you either. Please take everyone with you and leave. I'm sorry, but this is the mission handed down to us. Not everyone's a princess like you who can do whatever he, she pleases. I'm so sorry about all this. The girl's voice is coming from behind the booth seats. It is soft and with a hint of doubt, just like the mercenary's first impression of her. Sensitive and cowardly. He carefully inches to forward with his handgun drawn and held up next to his face. This... There is no one sitting in the booth, just a sniper rifle on the table. The device on the trigger ensures it can be remotely controlled. A communication device sits beside it. The girl's voice can be heard through its speakers. I really am sorry. The target is not in the rear kitchen. Second floor is clear. Not outside either. She's not here. Hurry and withdraw immediately. This is a faint. If you know I do whatever I please, why did you expect me to act? Why did you expect me to act exactly how you anticipated? No, don't withdraw it yet. Jeez. A fiery beam of light crashes into the ground on si outside the window. Crashes into the ground. All units, get down! Before he can finish, there is a loud explosion. A tire crashes through the window and still smoking and <laughs> still smoking and on fire. Makes a few loops on the ground before falling to the glass strewn floor. Jeez. Black stillers are a bit different, they really are, yeah. Hmm. All blown up. Without any transport, it'll take some time for them to make it to the power plant. Another day in Black Steel Corpus, yeah, I believe that. That's plenty. Were there more of them? Looks like I need to hurry. Dang, okay. Jessica on that special ops moves. According to the plan, you live through this secret passage, and I'll set up the power plant. Once this place explodes, no one will find the passage. Alright. Leone. Do you have a map of the route? Yeah. This path is connected to the underground sewer system. The passages there are complicated and twisty. Only one will lead you outside the place. Jessica hid some transports and supplies near the exit. Avoid military stations on the way to the frontier. There's bound to be plenty of thugs and bandits too. Leone. How many times have we been over this already? As for the dangers of the road, I won't just talk my ear off about them already. Yes, it's dangerous. We all know that. I'm just worried. Don't like making promises, you know? Did I... Oh, I'm just worried. Yeah, that was Leone, sorry. But I can promise you this. No matter what happens, I'll do everything to reach my destination. Even if I fail... You won't. You won't, Helena. Because I'll be right behind you. I'll take down every obstacle that slows you down. That's my promise to you. You just need to keep running straight ahead. Remember, keep going straight. Don't look back. I will, Leone. Goodbye. Now go, hurry! Looks, he looks on as the dark, narrow tunnel engulfs Helena's silhouette. 
Finally, he can't help but turn around to take a look at the plant's generator in the center of the room. There is barely anyone left on the plate, but the fire in the furnace burns as strong as ever. The flames are reflected in his eyes, dancing, stirring, leaping. Yet even that is unable to melt the frigid eyes lying in their depths. Thank now, it's just you and me. Hm. It's cool seeing all the sides. You're late. The old Sancta's gone. Where did he go? The mine. You're wounded. It's fine. He held back. Ugh. I almost had him. Damn it. One suggestion. If your girls run into him, try attacking his left shoulder. What? I appreciate the advice. Now you'll excuse us. Left shoulder so that he can shoot or because he's already injured there? Hmm. Faster. I have to hurry. Lenny sets the explosives on the wall and lifts his hand to wipe all the sweat that's gathered on his brow. But the heat immediately causes his skin to sweat even more. Hurry. His lips start chapping. His saliva no longer serves to moisten his throat and mouth. Faster. He sticks another one onto the wall, then another one, and another one. The light of the intense fire sweeps into the bottom of his eyes, seemingly tearing his soul in two. One half supports his body's movement so that he can keep working, while the other half has left his body entirely and stands firm in front of the furnace, staring into the raging fire. As he attaches another stick of dynamite into the wall, he notices someone walking toward him from the light of the fire. Ooh. Come with me, Leone. We'll head to the frontier. That's where our new home is. Miles, don't go. Where are you going? Another stick of dynamite is set on the wall. Miles turns towards the furnace, and a small shadow emerges. I'm planning to leave Davistown. I don't want to stay here anymore. I'm leaving that. Benny, don't leave me. You're the only child I have left. Don't leave me like Carl did. Mm. Another stick of dynamite on the wall. The fire engulfs Benny and twists into a tall young man. Good news, Dad. There's a mercenary company that thinks I'm pretty good. They say I'm a good fit for the gig. I'll be leaving in a few days. No, oh, don't go. I won't let you. You'll die on the battlefield, Carl. Another stick of dynamite. The young man turns into a fireball and explodes in all directions. No, Carl, come back! The final stick of dynamite is set up on the wall. A woman emerges from the fireball. He no longer remembers what she looked like, but he never, wa he never once forgot her voice. Mom. Leone. I have to go now. I'm sorry. I can't support you anymore. Mom. Don't apologize. I'm doing well here. Leone, sorry for you for leaving you all alone. No, Mom. I have a family here. Everyone here is my family. Goodbye, Leone. Stay here, Mom. Stay here with me. Man. <laughs> Leone, how are things going on your end? The explosives are all in the, pl in the place. Once they're set off, the plant will explode in no time. Then, after the energy tower comes crashing down, no one will ever find that passage again. When are you leaving? I've lured the nearby mercenaries away, so I'm on my way there to pick you up. No. Don't come. Have you already left? No, it's just... I don't want to go. But... Jessica... Tell this to Sylvia for me. No, I won't. If you have something to tell her, tell her yourself. She's... She's a clever girl, and still so young. A nice girl. If she finds a good man in the frontier, she should let herself fall in love again. I want her to be happy. God, why'd I have to treat her like that? If I'd known Carl was going to... Carl? No, forget what I said. Tell her... Tell her I'm glad she's, she still remembers and loves Carl. But he's gone. He's not here anymore. The living, 
deserve a choice. The living shouldn't be bogged down by the dead. You deserve a choice too. You need to live and leave this place. You'll get to start fresh in the future. Don't do anything stupid, I'm begging you. Think about Woodrow and Helena. They'll be heartbroken. And Benny, he just started school. He got a bright future ahead of him. Don't you want to see what kind of man he'll become? Don't you want to see your son again? And Miles, he's still waiting for you. But she wants me to stay. Who? She spread her arms, spread her heart, showed me that pretty face. And from that moment on, I found my dreams in her embrace. Listen to me, Jessica. I can't leave this place because... Because that woman left me here on a rainy spring day. It was the perfect day for a seedling to take root and sprout. My... My roots have grown too deep. No one can pluck me out anymore. My honey... It's gonna be a big bang. Cover your ears. Don't be afraid. And don't be sad. My life didn't begin the day I was born. It began the day I got here. In the same way, my death won't be on the day my life comes to an end. It'll be the day I leave this place. Leone, please. Don't worry, Jessica. I won't die. Because I'll be here forever. I'll live forever in her embrace. No. A loud explosion rings out high up above, and its massive shockwave shoves Jessica to the ground. Man, happy Starry Nights, NPC. She tries her hardest to get up and move her legs, to run forward, but she finds herself unable to budge. Her body has never felt so heavy before. She lifts her head up to look into the distance. A thick cloud of smoke is gushing out of a giant fissure in the tower's body. The rubble mercilessly pummels the ground along alongside a shower of sparks, turning the nearby buildings into wreckage beyond recognition. No. Oh. Frigid wind blows toward her from afar turning everything before her into nothing but a hazy blur and leaving the corners of her eyes feeling awfully cold. She reaches her fingers up towards the sky, as though she's trying to grasp towards something in the haze. She blinks, and her vision starts to clear up. She sees a snowflake. It's snowing. Man... Oh, also, yeah, that just creates the whole chain reaction. Is that the power plant? Hurry, Franca, drive faster! You hear that? Stupid car, faster! <laughs> Man... Did... did it work? Jessica, what's the situation there? It always rains in Syracuse. It always snows in Colombia. <laughs> that seems to be the trend, yeah. Dang. Leone, Leone, respond. I'm not getting a signal. Damn it. Leone stops in her tracks and considers turning back to look. The underground passage is structure, fragile to begin with, is unable to withstand the explosion on the surface. The fissures on the walls are rapidly spreading as far out as you can see. Almost as if underlining the fact that she's walking a path of no return. And so, in the end, she doesn't turn around. Instead, she keeps running. She simply throws herself into the hidden tunnel and towards the unknown up ahead. Dang. Look at that. Four people roll the bank, but only one walks away. I really have got an old. Couldn't even dodge a little explosion like that. That's toward the energy tower. Jessica. Woodrow. What's the situation at the energy tower? Has Elena entered the underground passage yet? What happened? Leonid said he was staying. He said he didn't want to leave. I didn't see him come out. I waited. Maybe I missed him. Does Helena know? I can't reach her. Are you crying? I... I think I am. It's all over now. You'll be fine. Let's see. You're from Blacksteel. You're from Blacksteel. 
in the Brindley. They won't touch you. Where are you going, Woodrow? Can, can I come look for you? I still got some stuff to take care of. Can bring you with me. Will I ever see you again? Maybe, Jessica. Maybe. Woodrow leans on the wall. He feels dazed and dizzy, and the burn wound on his shoulder aches. Welcome back, Mateo! Yeah, yeah. You just, you just missed them, you could say. <laughs> he takes out the bullet from his pocket. He can barely make it out under the faint mo moonlight. So all he does is, is rub its engravings. Forgiveness. Damned right. With this bullet forgive what my heart cannot. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 what? Dang! Wait, that was before the boss fight? What the heck? We haven't even gotten to Cliff! What? Uh, okay, after, I guess. What the frig? <laughs> yeah, so the bank robbery worked out. I mean, as, as Godo said, a few few lines before, yeah. Four people robbed the bank. Only one walking away, it seems. What's the situation? We've already tracked down Miss Brindley, but the mercenaries are understandably not giving this their best. However, going by how long it's been, she should be almost out of ammunition. Any news until Lassant? Elena and the miner took the money in the energy tower, and neither of them came out. So they disappeared without a trace, right in front of everyone. There must be another exit. Tell Tila to keep looking. Yes, sir. What about Woody? Has he left yet? Miss Bianchi, Mr. Bianchi hasn't left the plate. It seems he's effectively given up on their initial escape plan. After all, according to Tila's report, he was planning to hide in the mountains with the miner once everything was over. Where did you go, Woody? He... he's heading towards us. Should we send someone to intercept him? Forget it. Let him come. If he insists on coming, no one can stop him. Alright. Confrontation time. Let's come. There's a burning roadblock up ahead. I can't drive past it. We'll have to walk. Are those Black Seal transports? Was it Woodrow or Jessica? At the very least, that tells us that not everyone was inside when the energy tower exploded. Wait, Liskarm, there's news for com from command. Warning, all fire, all fire teams. The current situation is that after the recent explosion, the, le the target engineer's status is unknown and target Helena is missing. God. Excuse orders are to give up on target on target Woodrow and focus on capturing target Jessica. The target is currently in an abandoned alley on the eastern side of the mine. Miss Carm, what do we do? There has to be something we can do. Our team knows the mine better than anybody else. Let's just try to make it out, make it to her to her side ASAP. Need the bullet for you, but I cannot, Cliff. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Seems like, the, yeah, like going after Jessica. So, yeah, Cliff did give the order to not hurt either Cliff or Jessica. So, I mean, I don't know if they'll follow through, but, yeah, here we go. You got here much sooner than I expected, Woody. Every last building on the way was empty. Wasn't much to do but come find you. Are you blaming me for it? Anyone else more deserving? Sometimes a man bears sin not because of something he's done. But because something he didn't. Then you should have shot that bullet of yours decades ago. But you chose to flee. Why? Because after a long silence, my godforsaken empty em empathy finally realized that another Sancta had showed up by my side again. It was you. It was a mess, Woody. Empathizing with me must have felt terrible. What was I supposed to do? It's the nature of all Sancta. We share everything always. And compared to what I read from your brain, what I had to go through at that P POW camp might have been a walk in the park. What a cruel fate. You despise me so much, yet not even my pain can bring you joy. Dang, but I was not expecting that type of interaction. <laughs> 
It's going to be hard to hard out here. Reporting. Jessica spotted. Sharing coordinates. The target is heading outside the mines. She has a heavy energy cannon, a semi-auto assault rifle, and a handgun of unknown make. She's carrying all that by herself? Oh, right. She also has a heavy shield on her back. That kind, the kind that can be used as carriage if necessary. Well, that's something. Looks like after all these years, our princess has gotten pretty... remarkable. How's she doing? Does she look like she could put up a huge fight? It's easy to spook... Uh, a, it's easy to spook a corner thief. They can jump if you pull anything. Hmm. She seems kinda calm. She's just walking straight ahead, not doing anything. There she is. <laughs> Sanctus friendship ain't easy when things go sour, yeah. Sounds about right. In the alley, the girl carries her weapons and advances arduously through the blizzard. The dilapidated walls on the sides of the streets slowly pass her by. That is, until she reaches a fork. She freezes there for a brief moment, then, thug then tugs her collar and turns on onto the path where she must walk against the wind to proceed. Hmm. Good old symbolism. <laughs> time, was time was frozen in that POW camp, but outside, the war kept raging. That's right. After you two were taken prisoner, I took even more men to even vaster battlefields. In January, we had to cross the river against heavy cannon fire. In August, we had to defend our position in scorching hot desert, setting not even an inch to the enemy. Sometimes, we proved victorious and we stepped forward over the bodies of our enemies. Other times, we found ourselves on the back, on the back foot and we retreated past the bodies of our friends. Dang. And sometimes, things got even worse. Sometimes, I had to sacrifice some to save the others. Just like what you did to me and him. Right. Done it plenty of times. Not just, the, not just to you two, but to who knows how many. That's the dilemma war always puts in front of me. It may seem like a choice, but it's not. It's an inviol inviolable rule. Inviolable rule. Y yes. <laughs> you, you get the point. But you still made the call. I had no choice. If I didn't, a lot of efforts would have gone to waste. We would have faced defeat. That's why I chose to ac accept the rules. It's a sad thing, seeing a man you used to admire get reshaped by the rules and logic of war. You even remember what you used to be like? You even remember what you used to be like? Before you had any part in the revolutionary war? Do you remember the man who was always carrying the scriptures as he traveled everywhere, promising to use the gun in his hand to end all conflict and injustice? Of course I do, Woody. I remember what I was like, and I remember what you were like, too. You always had a brush with you. You wanted to have one of your paintings decorate a chapel dome one day. Have you so much as touched the brush these past years? No. Not since I had to get four fingers reattached. Dang. Sorry. The target is turning left. She's walking pretty slow. Nearby members, prepare to take her in. These coordinates, they're just up ahead. Hurry, Liskarm. <sighs> Wait. The two turn into an alley and stop in their tracks. The girl's lonely back suddenly appears before them. Jessica. Hearing her name, the girl turns around. When she notices who, who they are, a hint of joy appears on her face, only to be quickly replaced by a sense of helpless, helplessness and panic. Captain, you two came? Yeah, we got, we got your coordinates, so we rest over here. I'm sorry, Captain. Not sure there's any cleaning up this mess I met, made. I approved your application to withdraw from the team, so strictly speaking, I'm not your captain anymore. Right, I guess that's true. You two must be here to capture me, then. No. We're here as your friends. I got a transmission on our way here. Supposedly, during the explosion, Leone. Well, I'm not sure if you knew, but regardless, I thought you'd probably want someone at your side. Yeah, I knew. I was on a call with him right until the moment it blew up. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for coming. It's just... 
Are you okay, Jessica? I... I'm not okay. I'm awful. Do you want us to come over and give you a hug? No, don't. If you have anything to say, you can say it from there. I can hear you clearly from this distance. Jessica. Stay there and don't move, Franca. Blustered, Jessica pulls her gun from her waist to stop Franca from advancing. Are, are you going to point, point your gun at me? S sorry, I just... Franca, just leave me alone. Jessica, let me talk to her. Oh, this time they're gone, night. Is there anywhere you want to go, Jessica, after this is all over? Where could I go? Those drones have been following me this whole time. You too shouldn't have come. Once you get back, you'll have to explain all these things you won't be able to answer. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Don't worry about that. If I can't explain it, then so be it. As long as we're all together, there's nothing to worry about. Don't be afraid. But I am. I'm so, so afraid. What are you afraid of? That the pristine pool of water could be too warm. Too wonderful. Uh, I'm not sure I'm following you there. Suddenly, the headlights of a transport point straight at Jessica, and she's enveloped and imprisoned by a number of giant halos. The girl's eyes are unable to bear such intense light. All she can do is hold her gun with one arm, and shield her eyes with the other. After a short while, she seems to have adjusted to the brightness. She puts her arm down, and stares into the distance of the convoy of cars, of, of cars driving towards her. Dang. How's life treated you all these years? In my decades on the frontier, I kept my distance from crowds and wander around alone a herd of burden beasts. Why didn't you go back to the holy city? I didn't want to. What about you? Why didn't you go back? I'm a mercenary. Lerano has no place for me. So why didn't you want to go? Huh. Ain't nothing so unpleasant that it, it can't be forgotten in Lerano. But most of the POWs died in that camp. Hardly anyone still remembers, but someone's gotta. Yet here you are, living the kind of peaceful life you say you reject. Day after day, year after year. But I ain't ever forgot. I still remember them, to this day. I've always known there will come a day when you, come, when you, when you came and settled the score. I just never thought it would take so long. Here we go. We've surrounded the target. Repeat, we've surrounded the target. Drop your weapon, Miss Brindley. Weapons. This is the end of the road. Look around you. There's nowhere to run. This raid it's over. The snowstorm is only going to get stronger. Damn it. I was supposed to get off work early today and catch up on my beauty sleep. I do want to apologize to everybody again. But after everything I've said today, it will probably come across as disingenuous. Don't worry, you'll be fine. The company's making a huge ruckus out of this, but everyone here knows that nothing's going to happen to you. I heard about you not long after I joined the company, Miss Brindley. Everyone wanted me not to get on your bad side, because your family has more lawyers than we've got mercs here today. <laughs> Dang. Probably even more than you're thinking. See? You even realize it yourself. Worst case, you'll get maybe a year or two of jail time. Then you'll be released, and get to live the kind of life you want to again. Will you put down the amplifier? It's unnecessary at this distance. <laughs> it's right in front of them. Right, right in front of her, I mean. What? After I brought it all this way? I'm begging you, shut up. <laughs> sure, if you got a better idea for how to persuade her. It's fine, Liskarn. You don't need to defend me. I know how everyone sees me. Right. It seems like ever since I was a kid, I never thought about the consequences before I did anything. Because no matter what, my family will take care of this mess, of the mess. It's probably what I, I come off as selfish. But that is not how it's supposed to go. There's always a price, and when you make a hasty, rash decision, you have to bear the consequences. Jessica, 
You said you'd thought this all through when you asked to leave the team. No, I'm not talking about tonight. I'm talking about when I arrived at Fort Baron seven years ago, when I first walked through those huge doors. At first, I only wanted to be a tester at the Equipment and Applied Technology Department. I never imagined that one day I'd be standing on a real battlefield, pointing my weapon at a real person. Right. That's where the root of the problem lies. We often pick up our weapons without considering the price that needs to be paid. Take this little handgun, for example. I can hold it up with just two hands. Uh, with just two hands, yeah. I can pull the trigger with just one finger. I learned how to use it in less than a month. What's even more scary is that I need only a second to take somebody's life with it. But it will take me a lifetime to forget that one second. See? That's how foolish I was. Before I picked it up, I never even considered who I will point it at in the future. But I'd already fired my first shot, not fully thinking this through... This... this... yeah, not fully thinking this through will be unforgivable. Got it. Have you thought it through then? Because you've been holding your gun up this whole time. Hell, you haven't lowered it for even a second. Hmm. Interesting juxtaposition, I guess, between these two scenes. How arrogant. When did I ever say I came to settle a score with you? You think I brought this bullet here for revenge? Are you telling me you're not stuck in the past? No. You're the one who's stuck. You live to your 90s as a merc. Can you really adjust to any kind of life outside the- Can you really adjust to any kind of life outside the battlefield? Woody, the reason I'm still unwilling to leave the battlefield is because war never ends. Colombia's war ended a, ended a long time ago. It did, but then Bolivar war, Bolivar's war began right on its heels. Victoria's war may have calmed down for the moment, but there is no stopping the fallout it started. War is always here. It merely takes a break every now and then, or erupting somewhere else. And why stay on the battlefield? To be continually baptized by the flames of war? Because if I can never end war, I have to settle for the next best thing, to hold its on an on-off switch in my hands. That's why I started Blacksteel. But can you- but can you really control it? I've tried plenty of times, and I paid a dear, a dear price, but I did it in the end. Was it worth it? Even if all I can manage is to put it on, on pause for a few seconds, that's more than enough for countless people like you to pick up their brushes again. They want can they then why can't you, you sorry then why can't you put what you're doing here on pause too? I'm sure a few seconds to breathe will be plenty for folks like me, gasping for air. Sure beats getting pathetically run off to the frontier. Because Davis Town is no battlefield. Shout out to Syracuse almost going to war over a pasta recipe. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the real that's the real deal. They are, they are so real for that. <laughs> hmm. Again, the music here is so good. I can't put it down, because this is the only thing I have left that still has power. All these years, I've thought of myself as something like a blank white symbol. The wealth, family, the influence it represents I mean nothing. I have no use in the face of the problems I want to solve. But with this in my hand, at least I accomplished something. With this in my hand, at least I'm not a complete useless symbol. Nonsense. Captain? One of me runs to Colombia with a pesto recipe. This is an international problem. Jessica, it's been five years. In these five years, have you ever once thought about why I picked up Pick You as my assistant? This is Blacksteel we're talking about. There are all kinds of amazing people here, but I still chose you. And not because of that gun you're holding, but because of your tears. Tears? But tears of weakness can protect the people behind me. Tears don't imply weakness. The work we do at PVRS is dirty, tiresome and dangerous. No one does this kind of work just for the money. Only someone who's able to empathize with the pain of others can throw herself into a cause for a group of strangers or a place she barely knows. Captain, just when I thought I was completely useless, 
You brought me into your team. That was the first time in my life I ever felt appreciated, and I still remember that feeling. To repay your trust, I will willingly brave hell and high water. But you shouldn't. You shouldn't walk that path. No one's journey should be to earn someone's else, someone else's recognition. Do whatever it is that you yourself really want to do. Do what truly makes you happy. You don't need anybody's recognition except your own, deep in your heart. Captain, I, I really want to cry right now. Then cry. Let your tears flow. No need to hold back. That's cool, yeah. I guess she, she was partly the... Who kept the uh, Liskarm grounded, right? I like that. Ooh. Woody, your halo is flashing. You... <laughs> You're damn right it is. I want to kill you. You keep saying that war never ends. That's all you can... That all you can do is control it. But you're wrong. War can't be ended. Just not by you. War is ended by countless ordinary folks. Folks who have encroached on by it. Who have been encroached on by it. But like weights try their hardest to survive. Every word that's ever burned down in the flames of war has always been fixed been fixed up by untold untold number of normal folks, trying their best to get back the lives they used to live, even in the most dire of circumstances. You should have died on the battlefield. Would have been a much better fate than becoming the war obsessed madman you are now. At first, I just wanted to return the bullet to you. Now, I really want to kill you. <laughs> Say my name. Yeah. Oh, what? A strong gale li lips. <laughs> sorry. A strong gale lifts up the old man's hat and tosses it into the air. But he neither looks up nor moves to grab it. His eyes, not blinking for even a moment, are fixed on the man standing opposite him. All his muscles, from his cheek to his neck, are as tense as can be. And above his head, his halo is flashing rapidly. The man oppose oppose the man opposite him keeps silent for a time, then gradually takes a deep breath, as though it is only through the sound of the roaring winds that he can understand the old man's words. PNG action! Well then, do you know who it is you're going to kill? Your nemesis? Your friend who betrayed you? Or a complete madman? None of the above. It's an arrogant jerk who looks down on everything. In his eyes, Everything can be weighed on scales, and to achieve his goals, he's capable of sacrificing anything. What about you then? What kind of man will shoot me with that bullet? An ordinary man. An ordinary man who lost everything except his anger when you looked down on him. Very good. What's so funny? That finger of yours always yearned to hold a brush, but in the end, you'll use it to pull the trigger. My hands yearn to hold scriptures, but in the end, they'll be drenched in blood. It's just funny how fate makes fools of us all. The wind lifts Cliff's coat, rippling both the firearm on his waist and the hand reaching for it. <laughs> this is the hardest moment in Dark Knights I've seen so far. Well, Emperor holding the gun is still up there, but this is like just the way it's done with his no it's all so good, so good. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I mean, I think... Someone here is gonna fall, right? There's uh, no way around it. It's what uh, this has been all, all built up to. It's all Sancta. Always been. Through the flurry of snow, he sees Woodra doing the same. He suddenly remembers how all those years ago in Laterano, on the way back to the dorm, a gust of wind blew Woodrow's hat away and carried it into the sky. And for a very long time, it stayed up there. Years have come and gone, and now that having the wind has finally landed back on the ground. Oh, that is so cool. I could see that in a cinematic, right? Like the, the hat transitioning from the past to the present. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. 
You can see my tears. But what about them? Them? Who? Jessica doesn't give him an answer. She merely looks back at the desolate mine. After the explosion, it looks all the more devastated. Sir, do you know what that used to look like? I don't. Well, I do. I know there was a time when the energy tower burned endlessly to bring warmth to the residents here. I know there was a time when the diner never closed. Everyone will gather around the tables over beer and sing to their heart's content. I know the winters here are long and cold, but with their dedication and hard work, every last person who lived here filled this place with light and warmth. Their fierce, brilliant light enveloped every inch of this place to drive out the frigid cold and darkness of the winter nights. They turned their bustling everyday life into burning red blood and injected it into this plate into this plate frozen by the long winter, giving it life and vitality. They were people whose path was un uncertain, but insisted on walking it nonetheless. They were people who were cruelly tormented by life here, their necks bent under its weight. Even then, they lived here amid the snowstorm. They were people who shed tears, but no one ever noticed. My tears can stand in for their sadness. Man. Whoa! The girl raises her gun, and through its side, she sees an array of faces. Some look confused, some disapproving, some stunned, some dazed, some are chuckling, some are lamenting. But their faces are not important. They're quick, they quickly enter the girl's eyes, and exit them just as far, just as fast, never stopping in her heart for a moment. Instead, a few other faces appear in her mind. The girl who prayed in the tent. The woman who scampered away in the snowfield. The old man who drew his gun in the dark night. The man who departed in flames. But my gun will cry for their sorrow. She raises her arm up high towards the sky and fires all her bullets in one go. As the snow thrashes through the air, the empty, cast the empty casings fall to the ground, melting the snow drifts away with their lingering heat. The gunshots reverberate in the air for a long time before silence returns to her surroundings. The girl's ears and ca catch a faint, feeble sound. It's the sound of her tears smashing into the earth. Dang. All right. Huff. <sighs> you lose. Sorry, Woody. I chose war. I chose never-ending war. So, my life is like a bullet. An explosion that can't be stopped. A siege in the defense with no end in sight. I can't end war. But you can end me. Only when the last soldier fighting it falls can the war finally end. Robert. Man. The way gravity works means that the bullet will come raining back down the same force it was shot. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. <laughs> now, now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Thanks, Woody for st still being willing to say that name. Aside from you, there's not a single person who remembers it. Goodbye. Cliff closes his eyes and waits for the bullet to tear his forehead apart. But before that, he hears a ringtone. Pulls out his communicator, takes a look and chuckles, and he puts it back into his pocket. Who was it? The military. Don't worry about it. Go on. <laughs> Is it Bolivar or Victoria? Nothing you need to worry about, Woody. Is it Colombia? Do it! 
Another war is about to start, isn't it? Or will it affect this time? Forewarning, perhaps. It's not set in stone. Give it to me. Woody, a lot of the things I have on here are just trivial. Everything matters to me. But to you... They'd be a whole new nightmare. Hand it over. If you insist, feast your eyes on them. We'll take all this over once you're dead. Someone. They shouldn't. There shouldn't be nobody else like you. He throws the communicator to the ground and shoots it full of holes. I can't kill you. This scene is yours to bear. Woodrow sets his gun down on the floor and raises his hands. Behind him, attracted by the sound of gunfire, a crowd of mercenaries surges into the area with frantic footsteps and moves to surround them. In the sky, the last few snowflakes of the night are flutter fluttering down. Somebody sent Cliff and touch me. <laughs> that would have broken the tension. <laughs> Woodrow grabs it and just starts chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> they just start laughing together about the meme. <laughs> the good ending. Personally, I agree with the electric force in our play. Okay, work differently because of false guy. Maybe. Maybe. Let's just, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> okay, guys, take me away. I'm ready. The girl holsters her firearm and lifts her head above her head. Put your hands behind your back. And cops don't feel as cold as I thought they would because I've been keeping them warm this whole time. Thank you. Can I have a word with you before we go? I should thank you too, sir. Thanks for listening to all of that. It's fine. Before you, there was another guy who jabbered away just as much, if not more. I'm sure he'd be happy that you remember what he said. Oh, you knew him too. He was a good kid. Hard to force once you've met him. Uh, hard to forget once you've met him. Goodbye, Jessica. The mercenary taps the girl's shoulder, raising a cloud of dust as the sun rises and turns around to leave. As Jessica gazes at the floating dust under the sunlight, she suddenly realizes that the night has already passed. Likewise, the snowstorm had, had subsided at some point. Before you kill me, check out this funny pic, yeah. She spread her arms. Spread her heart, showed me that pretty face. And from that moment on, found my dreams in her embrace. Oh, dang. Okay, we. Dang. That was the before and after of CVA. <laughs> Jeez. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because that, that duel was. You know, it, it was in classic. Like cinema, you know, it was a long build up to it, and then the the, the duel itself was like a flash. So yeah, but nicely done. I, I, that was really that, that probably is one of my favorite chapters. It's really good, uh, just the back and forth between the two. Let's see what um, what the aftermath is. Band of outsiders choosing to die hardly counts as living. Hmm. Bars. <laughs> Wait till do it a little later on when it happens. <laughs> this is this is cinema, <laughs> Scorsese probably. I th I think you have got yeah I think you have. <laughs> I have been thinking about reading through Guide Ahead at one point, but yeah we, we gotta get through the main story first. But that might be one of the first events that I that we read through. We'll see. Ah. Huh. Yeah, now, now we see his name. The war is over, Woody. You're free. You can go back to Laterano, to that small house your parents left your parents left you. And plants rose and plant roses in the front porch. Then you can find a chapel nearby and paint them on its ceiling, so they can listen to the pray to the prayers of every visitor. That way sound will drift you into a peaceful night of slumber. I found your gun in the warehouse, but not his. Bring it back with you. What about you? Where are you headed? I'll, st I'll stay here. 
In Colombia? But the war is over. Your war may be over, Woody, but mine has only just begun. It's got some... Philip Graves vibes <laughs> from Call of Duty. Uh, Cliff, at least young Cliff. But oh, that actually works really well, yeah. Because what is uh, that company? Something like... Something Black black Tooth, I think. But, uh, yeah. Woody. Hey. Woody. Ugh. Are you alright? How long have I been out? Three days. Dang. The kids got pretty tense when they saw me injured, so they went a little overboard. You banged their head on the staircase when they shoved you to the ground, and where you and where you let the light, where, and where you out like a light. I I don't know what that meant, but yes, like <laughs> knocked him out. Where's Jessica and the others? Don't worry, she's fine, and I've sent someone to escort Helena. My guess is she'll reach that casino on skate in half a month. Then she'll launder all the money there before handing it to Sylvia, who's already waiting on the frontier. You... aren't going to pursue them? I told you already. I only care about what's in my contract. The higher-ups asked me to tow the plate to the spe specified location and maintain order on the way. It doesn't say a thing about what happens off the plate, so I don't care either. I may be a cold-blooded monster, but even I don't feel like feeding on the flesh and blood of others. So what are you gonna do with me? I have a mansion in Southern California. <laughs> I was gonna say Southern California. <laughs> I have a mansion in Southern Colombia. Got a great big greenhouse. Wonderful place. You could change your name and enjoy your golden years there. I'll make all I'll make all the arrangements. You ever live there? Never. But that's what the real estate agent said. Thanks for the offer, but there is one thing I. But if there is one thing I know, it's you never trust a real estate agent. <laughs> if you ain't turning me over to the courts, then I'm leaving. To find your friends, to find my family. Your guns on my desk. The last convoy to the. The last convoy to the frontier is in half a month. You could. You. Go ahead. Take the call. Good old Woodrow humor, yeah. <laughs> Love Woodrow. The goat. Well, let's see. Would you like some tea, sir? Thank you so much for coming all this way. Uh, thanks, Miss Brindley. Your family paid a lot of money to hire me, so naturally, I'm at your beck and call. Robbing a bank is a serious crime. It's going to be tough to win this, isn't it? <laughs> Depends on what outcome you're hoping for. If you don't mind prison, we can get you the, the shortest possible sentence in the most comfortable environment. And once you're released, your record will be clean. No one will even remember. We do this all the time. It's nothing difficult, so long as you can afford it. Humro. <laughs> nice. Okay, what else? Of course, not a lot of people enjoy the sight of a prison cell. We have an alternate plan for you. You could stay home under house arrest, or go, or even go on vacation at some villa with a great view. Under supervision, of course. Oh, Jessica vacation arc, that'd be cool. Will that be difficult for you? Yes, but not especially so. If you don't want to spend a day in prison, and will rather go back to a normal life right away, like nothing ever happened, that will be quite difficult, but not impossible. In Colombia... Aren't most criminals sent to the frontier instead of prison? Don't worry, Miss Brindley. With us on the case, things won't go nearly that dire. No, I'm saying that's what I want. What? I should be out there. I broke the law, and that's the price I should pay. And you expect me to tell that to your father? Personally speaking, that's probably the most difficult thing you could ask of me. Dang. No, the most difficult thing will be to try and stop me. Because that's how right impossible. You're pretty determined. You're right, I am. More than I've ever been. 
Nice. Look at these two. A couple of cards just hanging out. <laughs> it's nice to see them like this. Not taking the call? I've never told anyone, but I hate phone calls. Love them. <laughs> okay, that, that makes sense. I can tell. With that frown, you could hold a piece of paper between your eyebrows. <laughs> Is it that obvious? Yeah. Well, yes. Every time my phone rings, I have to suppress the urge to draw my gun and shoot the damn thing. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, of the Almeida the Frontier. Atlas crew, yeah. I've thought about it so, so many times, but every time I've managed to swallow it and answer. It's just, it's just a phone. Try spending two months with it on the battlefield. It changes everything. You're on call from sundown to sun up. When you pick it up and the voice says attack, you've got no choice. You, you've no choice but to obey and send your men charging into battle lines, into enemy lines. Then you might fight from sun up to sun down. You bring back everyone you have left, but before you even have a chance to catch a breather, phone rings again. The voice says hold the line, and you have to send back send everyone back to the front front lines to keep fighting a never-ending battle. Let's part ways here, Woody. If I lost my right to give a, eul a eulogy at your funeral years ago, then I hope you'll at least hear me. <laughs> then I hope at least, sorry. Then I hope you'll at least hear out my final request. I'm listening. Don't die in some place I've never even heard of. Fine. I have some parting words for you too. Yeah. If you can't go back to how things were, you can at least hang up and call back later. Don't let them force you to keep your eye on it. Hmm. I hope you'll always remember this phone call. He picks up the phone on the desk and punches in a few numbers. Is this the president of the bank? Hello, sir. I was a little busy and couldn't answer your, your call. Right. We ran into some trouble during the towing. I understand your frustration, but to me, as long as the plate reaches its destination, the mission will be a success. Everything else is a, everything else is a sideshow. No one's going to care. Right, I understand. The money is very important to you. I get that business has been on the rise, and the people from Trimount could help you climb even higher. And now that the money is gone, my guess is they won't just let you off the hook. Of course, I also realize you aren't worried about them. You're worried about the higher ups. Who are even harder to deal with and can truly decide your fate. Raw moment. Yes, I understand. I understand all that. So what do you say I help you fill in the hole? It's no small sum, but nothing I can't afford. In return, perhaps you could help me with a small favor. I have a few documents that I'd like you to sign for me. Under the table, as it were. Someone's knocking on your door? Perfect. Sounds like my mercs have arrived with the papers. <laughs> You're afraid to sign? But think of our partnership. This is a win-win. I'll give you another call in half an hour. I hope you'll make. I hope you'll have made your decision by then. Talk to you later. Come in. Sir, the money is ready. We're just waiting for the bank's decision. But I must say. Taking over that platform, Bolivar, took a whole lot less work than this one. Well, that's Bolivar. Bolivar doesn't have cutting-edge scientists, nor any tech companies jostling for control of the abandoned plates that they, they can get. Not to mention the fa favorable pla prices for plates and ownership transfer procedures they have there. They wouldn't mind getting in or on our good side, after all. Alright, no more complaining about things not going to plan. If peace is a string, then the tighter it stretch, the more the ones holding the ends will want a knife to cut it with. But as soon as it's cut, you either get rid of the knife immediately, or hold on to it forever. We've been stretched too tight for too long, with someone much stronger than Bolivar. Who knows how many more Davis towns we'll have to handle. I'd rather get the big guy to loosen his grip, or even show him how much it hurts when the string snaps. But an old platform they wouldn't think twice about. Hmm. It might be even more useful than we thought. If we consider only the immediate impact, 
The security of the surrounding areas could be greatly improved once we establish the training centers in Bolivar and, East, in, and Eastern Colombia. Of course, if we didn't care about that, then what separates us from the, from the guys who only know how to grease palms? No, what separates us from the big guys? <laughs> from the big shots? Well, that's all a problem for, a sh for future, for the future. It's a bank president again. I suppose it wasn't a difficult decision. Care to listen in? Hmm. The old guy is still scheming, I guess? Will be interesting to see him again. Is his play take over in History of Terror active, for real? Why do we have to set sail now, of all times? I wanted to see Jessica and Woodrow off. Stop whining and pack your clothes. Cliff should have seen what a plant they cover in Syracuse looked like. What a plant, yeah. You left them all over the floor. How come you two are so calm about this? Who knows if we'll ever see her again, once she's out on the frontier. Mr. Cliff didn't approve her resignation, so even there, she'll still be a member of Black Seal. What? But, but... She's going out there to serve her sentence. Yes, correct. But with her identity as a Black Steel employee, and the job. The job? Right. No matter where you go, you can never escape this job. Maybe we'll get a mission in the frontier one day, and we'll get to see her. Uh... Now hurry and pack your clothes. Now I... I can't believe you two were keeping this from me. But I never... Don't blame us. <laughs> blame engineering for keeping you so busy that we never got a chance to talk. Huh? What's this? Something wrong? Oh no, I just found a nut in my pocket. Big whoop. Call me when you find the blank check. <laughs> what? You have to come back, yeah. Half a month ago, Laura wrote the... Lara wore that coat while bidding her friend farewell, farewell with a hug. She slipped a note into her friend's pocket, but didn't notice her friend doing the same. Lara turns away from the other two and opens it up. There are a few numbers and sloppily scribbled message. If you ever need funding, give this number a call. Huh. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Out in the frontier. Another one. Oh, you sure do, I guess? Ma'am, you've been in this pub all night. The owner is about to close up. That's alright. I know the owner. Are you waiting for someone? Nah, I ain't never waited for no one in my whole life. Is someone waiting for you then? Yeah. Will they get to meet you? I got a lot of people waiting for me. We'll have to narrow it down. Let's not worry about the distant ones. Closest. Waiting for you right now. Yeah, of course they will. G gave him my word. It's hard to find someone who takes promises so seriously these days. Here, let me treat you to a round. You tailed me this long just to buy me a drink. Believe it or not, I made a promise too. I promised the girl you're supposed to meet that she'll get to see you. You can call me Tilla. <laughs> cool. Where you're dialing is currently on the frontier. Yeah. In a swath of scorched earth, I see a sparkling light up and drift and drift with the wind into the distance before perishing into ashes. Yeah, we haven't seen much of Tila yet. Yeah, there are only these few scenes that um that she's been in, but yeah, we don't know much about her, I guess. Or perhaps it lit up the night sky and brought forth daylight. Hmm. You really plan on coming to the frontier with me? Mm-hmm. You know what it is you're throwing away? I do. It's a stupid-ass choice. Maybe in a few years, a few months, or even a few days, I'll come to think the same. But I can only decide with the heart I have now. If I think it's worth a shot, there's no reason for me not to act. You think you'll find what you're after out there? Before... I always put all my effort into, into chasing things I could never reach. 
When I was a kid, I tried to chase my siblings, who were all taller than me. When I was a teenager, and my grandfather died while I was out of, out of the country, I rushed to attend the funeral, I could never have made it in time. I made it to in time. And then, after I grew up, I chased disasters and conflicts I could never possibly stop, again and again. I'm always chasing, but I never make it in time. But this is different. This time, I'm not chasing anything. Because I'll be there from the very beginning. Now we just gotta locate... Yeah, gotta locate Miles. Damn. Found the money grabber. Buy her a drink. Yeah. <laughs> then let's get going. Hope you're, hope you're ready for a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tears, Jessica. My castle fell down. I spent all afternoon on it, but now there's nothing left. Jessica, you built your castle on the beach. Of course it'll fall down when the waves come crashing. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I build it somewhere safe? What kind of nonsense is going through your silly little head? You're my, you're my granddaughter. How could you be dumb? But my siblings are all so much smarter. They know all these things I don't. They're adults. Of course they have more experience than you. When you grow up, you'll be just like them. But won't they be even more amazing by then? Huh. How come you have so many weird questions? Kept kinda smart questions. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, don't be so upset. How about I rebuild your shine castle with you? Are you really? But even if we do, it'll still come crashing down because of the waves tomorrow. In the end, there still won't be anything left. Jessica, you're so worried about the waves reaching your castle. How about we pick a beach? Uh, how about we pick a beach further from the water and rebuild it there? Even when you lose everything, there's always the future, and we need to believe in it. Don't be afraid to start over. Hmm. Nice. I've seen my future. Yeah, let's start over. Oh. That's cool. That's very cool, Woodrow. A warm hat is placed on the girl's head. Its frame is so wide, it covers almost her, her whole face. If you want to cry, cry. You've been through so much. It must be tough to bear. I'm not... Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, Jessica. Your life's always start in tears. It's the very first step toward breathing. After a long silence, a sob can be heard from under the hat. The old man doesn't look down. Instead, he turns his gaze to the far end of the snowfield. The sky beyond the horizon is dyed red by the dawn clouds, and its bright light reflects of the crystal clear snow. The vermilion hue stings his eyes with a sharp pain, and his tears begin to well up. Mm. What a good story! That was... That was peak. <laughs> Holy crap. Writing in this side story was fire. That was awesome. Okay. The X stage is time. But yeah, that was really good. I gotta take a quick break just to go to the bathroom. But oh, holy crap. That was so good. Yeah, congratulations to everyone who worked on this story. <laughs> Fair, very good, very good. I was, you know, usually side stories. Like, usually the big stories, like the Intermezzi or big stories, are the real big highlights. I wasn't expecting this to be so good, but damn. Really was. Okay, I'll go to the bathroom real quick, I guess, <laughs> really uh, process this as we go. Um, and also get some stretches if you if you need to. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back, all right? <laughs> but holy crap, that was... That was awesome. Yeah. I wish we had located Miles. Because that's one thing. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, I, I guess I'll give more thoughts after this. <laughs> See you in a bit. Side stories don't mess around. Yeah, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Be be Time to switch R9 to the R10. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, maybe I'll need the energy bar by now. Yeah, I do. Do need some energy for what's coming, I think. <laughs> Always I wonder how they're able to pack up to pack up so much in four to five hour one shots. Yeah, it's really, really impressive. It's really cool. And like I said, you know, the writing is like especially in the dual part, it was so good that I could like, just picture that uh that confrontation. And Man, I don't know, it's really inspiring. So, yeah, really, really props to everyone who worked on that. There doesn't seem to be that much fruit in this one. Ah, it's fine. Mm. So, excuse me. What I think I want to do. I think we just get through the main, right, like to through the normal modes of all the EXs. And if, right, if, because we have two hours left, oh, sorry, I didn't get rid of the BRP. Hold on. If we get through the, uh, or if we, if we get to EX8, we, uh, th then that one we could try the challenge mode. But, um, but yeah, everything else we just do normal mode, I think. For the um, rewards and stuff. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we do. All right. Yeah, it's really almost fell. I guess it's an altar event. Usually the altars, I think, because it's supposed to be, you know, developing the character further. Maybe that's why the writing is cool. I wonder how the writing the read event is, the read altar event. 
because this one was really cool. And I think again, because it's uh, an altar, so it's supposed to you know further the story. Maybe that that's uh, that, that helps with um, you know making writing that develops the characters more. And um, and just in general, right? Because it builds off of the previous stories. But um, I mean, even me not having context, a lot of context of like Jessica's story, just getting the context from through through this story in its by itself. It was yeah, it, it worked, I think. This time we'll be ready for Reed's story. Yeah, now now we get, have the context, <laughs> so that's cool. So uh, so we'll be re we will be able to read through that one. That's cool. I mean, there's still a little a little bit of time right until Reed event. So I guess it was around the time that Bill Siracusano came out, right? Was it like before or after? It was around that time, I think, right? Maybe after. Yeah, I don't I don't remember exactly, but yeah. Oh, at least three months. Okay, so probably until the next one. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about the ice. I was still gonna say something else about that. Uh, I think. Yeah, it was it was really cool. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I'll see if I remember what what else I was trying to say. But yeah, for now, we got the heat bands, which are. Like here, I guess they're not showing. Like before, they were. Oh no, they here. Yeah, yeah. I was like before they were showing where the hit vents will be. So yeah, there's this one. So I guess we kind of wanna slow them here. And I think for the most part, it is a good idea to like activate the the vents. So that's cool. But else, we have this one coming through here. I guess we could also defend from here. Yeah, let's see. Well, what squad could work? Um, this is a squad that I used to for for Cliff. Let's see. Good, Exu for the tower. On the left side, I don't think we'll need her just yet. Well, we'll see, but I don't, I don't think so. Do I have... Yeah, 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 because I use Choppy to burst. Right, right, right. To burst. Um... So. Yeah, to burst Cliff. Uh, Cliff could be binded. So, like, Choppy could be an option for, the, for, for, for Cliff. Because uh, Ro Rosa cool bind them. That uh, that I did notice. So yeah, let's get her here. Then I don't know. Do we have any free tile? Because the only like, maybe here I could see maybe any free tile. Uh, do we have defenders? Should I get? Should I should I get Jessica out right away? Just to try her out a little. Because I, I build her, but I haven't used her actually. Sometimes I just like building characters, just in case I need to use them. I don't know, I'll put her on her second skill, I guess. I do wanna use... Was there someone with a skill that we needed to silence? I seem to remember something like that, right? Did one of these blow up? Or am I thinking of... I might be thinking of the Victoria people. Because the, the flamethrower guys, the Dublin flamethrowers. Right, I, I think so. Because I, I was thinking like maybe we could get Frank as well in the, in the team. At least for this one, I guess. Right. Get her in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, sure, let's go with that. Oh, because of the spiders, you're right. Whoops. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see what what this what this goes. Yeah, yeah. I think it was because of the spiders. Okay, I might change Chovai for that. Oh, hello. Just right away. Well, actually, let me get some TP before. Whoa! Late enemies right away. Makes sense. Something. No, I can't pitch them here. But that's fine. Just attack this one for now. Your orders, please. Can't you hear the children's cries? Bum, 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 bum. Should I use this one to keep? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
think this or no actually with Okay, hopefully we can get it in time for the overload too. Pass. Ho hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here, here they are. Uh, stop them. There you go. Um, yeah, let's do this for now. Then I guess we can, we can place Jessica back there. Dodge, get the skill. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, Go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> think. Um, no, yeah, I think we use the here or here. Yeah, here. She's, she's inside of the healing range. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where's my mouse? There we go. <laughs> them down. Ooh. Oh dang. Oh she got her yeah yeah he got his resistance. It's all good. We can we can deal with them later. I, I hope. Mm, yeah, let's activate the skill. It is so very yeah, where the skill liberation. Okay. Oh yeah, we can place her now. Any instructions for me? No, I don't think I need you. Now at least. Huh? Um, I guess we do this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's the the shield thingy. Oh, that that sniper started started looking nice. <laughs> Realize, okay. How far does this go? Yeah, it goes as far as uh, Ifrit, so... Yeah, okay. Just for any chores, skin. Still got six bonds. See, I, I really like her... Um, her reloading with the with the umbrella, and that skin does take that away, so yeah. That's, that's, that's my only gripe with that skin, it, it, otherwise it's really cool, but... Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll stick with, uh, with this form for now. But it is cool, I, I won't deny that. Um, oh, sorry, April. <laughs> Kept you there. Kept you waiting, huh? Okay, sniper, sniper, fella. You can, you can, you can keep going. Can you place? Yeah, I can only place it in the surrounding tiles. So the sniper is gonna. Ch oh, he's just gonna stay there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just. Where are you gonna advance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna let him advance. <laughs> or not. Hello? Sir? Just, uh... Awkward, awkward waiting, I guess. Can I, can I hit you with this? Or are you already on the other side? Oh no, you're in there. Nice. Now, now we got you. <laughs> there you go. Got her broken after Franka left and stopped advancing. Yeah, he was like, oh, where did she go? Okay, EX1. Donezo. This one. Where is the hit bands? Okay, two on this one. Oh, two over there. Interesting. And we got thrones. Hmm. Uh, how do they. Oh, through here. Okay. Yeah, so the route will be like. Yeah, this. Okay. It rounds right here. Okay. Shouldn't be too tough. 
Frank pulled him his cold shot gambit. Oh yeah, I haven't used cold shot either. I could try her out as well. Is there any? I mean, yeah, they're 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 already free tile. Oh, these ones are also yeah. I didn't notice these ones. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, these ones. You can place operators here, right? So you can activate this. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool song. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna play this one too. Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's go with this. Yeah. Keep going with the squad. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say for the spiders, yeah, I was gonna replace with Leblon, but I forgot, it's fine. <laughs> Place you here. Wait, what the heck? Increase the resistance surrounding enemy units. Okay, that, that, is, that is okay. Just don't, yep, just don't go all the way over there. I'll be with you in a second. Yep, there we go. Actually, yeah, cold shot here could be able to deal with those. I just didn't realize where it was gonna come from. Can't you feel the city's crumbling away? Oh, what? Why, why did she hit over there? Oh, it's fine. Let's have this guy's over here. Whoa, okay. Gonna do blocks, energy capacity 5, alright. Place one here as well. Okay, we can, we can deal with this, guys. Yeah, sure. Your orders, please. Could you ever imagine friends turning against each other? Um, let's see if I can activate this once. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, you can just uh, handle that. <laughs> nice. Okay. We could <laughs> we turn drowness into draw drawless. <laughs> oh wait, uh 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 Hello. Uh yes. Sure. Oh, you know what? I should have done this. Yeah. Something's not right. Could you ever imagine? Ah, this is sight. Beyond substance. Nice to play this. Yep, <laughs> that works. Nobody cares. Nobody. Um. Sure. Let's do this. <laughs> this is a funny stage. Well, so far. Still working on it. Fix <laughs> so just shooting the, the vent. Yeah, we don't we don't need this yet. We need to give orders just yet. And that is cool that she can attack the the vent at the same time when she attacks the two two enemies. No way. Like it's zero. Like the drone. Oh wait, why, why is it moving so fast? Oh, okay, I thought it was just gonna. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna pass through. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> the where do you think you're going? Let's activate that tower and. So I don't know how to get that metal with of Cliff, like getting defeated by the by the fence. I don't know about that one, Chief. Can't you feel the city yeah, slam down. Nice, perfect placement of the of the banner. Nice, get that one. Yeah, <laughs> just that attacking that. Joy, our carry, always. I think you just need to kill him while vents are damaging him. 
Not so. Like, will that still count because it's like constant damage from the vents? Oh. All right. That's why I'm doing only the normally X stages. <laughs> This for from clear side I've seen. Interesting. But that will make sense because the vent is always. Yeah. By damage from away vent. Yeah. I mean it seems to say that this is from the vent specifically. But uh because the vent, you know, does damage constantly. I guess it's just yeah, it just has to be activated. So we could try that, but I don't know. <laughs> Timing is always my my uh what do you call, probably call it? My weakness, I guess. And which is, you know, it's a big part of Arknight, so it's <laughs> pretty funny in that regard. Alright, alright. I will say... Yeah, that, that Shovai was very useful in that one. I think I'm gonna have to take with uh, the L with Franka and just... Yeah, re re replace her for now. Yeah, hi Lap <laughs> Welcome back, Lapland. Cool try! Okay, we do need two defenders. I was just thinking about getting Cold Shot in here, just to try her out, but I feel, I feel like for that stage she would have been very useful. But this one, I'm not so sure. So let's just go with this, I guess. Hmm, her first point. You can, well, for in case of Jessica, you can change the direction. Oh boy. Okay, just gotta not activate this one. It's my duty to stand here. Yeah, we can use you. And we can, yeah, we can just defeat these two with with you. Your orders could you ever imagine? Friends turning against each other. And homeland yeah. fading into nothing but memories. Step one. Off with there. Oh yeah, the up resistance. That's ah, fine. With, with the skill, we'll, we'll get rid of them, right? Surely. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dang, there the fence goes pretty high up. Jeez. Okay, come on, April. You got. Oh, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Where are you going? <laughs> Was not paying attention. Something's not right. Jump. Um, uh, hello there. Um, hello. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I could just keep using side like so. Okay, you don't have any energy, so that's good. Yeah, so we get skill here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Let's do this. Yeah, I guess you can play. Yeah, if you could play Zifrit here, it will be perfect. Like the seven mechanics in concept, basic mob, 1v1, and Vanguard this practically. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Any instructions for me? Mm, sure, that works. Feels fresh and pale like a shooting star. Okay, charge him up. Yeah, that, that was definitely a surprise. So you have the thing where. Oh, okay, no. I thought it was the thing where it slows them down, but I guess it's tied to the third skill then? Didn't realize that. Oh, and it also tanks that. Good kid, nice. Oh, yep, yeah, get the, the snipers. Good job. And just. Something can just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. So how. Oh, it expands that way. I thought it was banned forward. Hmm. And yeah, I like how her skill is similar to Feels fresh every time to, 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 to Flame Tail, yeah. I don't think we even need this. <laughs> it's kind of overkill. Well, I guess for these guys. Go guard here, technically. 
Is it still reaches the range? Yeah. If I activate this, then yeah, she attacks that one. Oh, nice. Cool. Jeez. Okay, nice, nice. Nicely done. Uh, I don't think I need more, yeah. I don't think I'll just get left on here. So good. Oh, just two more enemies. Huh? Oh, this, this two. <laughs> Does it hurt? Um, to try than that. Love and you're good. Okay, oh, we don't need the we don't need the hit bands anymore. You're good, buddy. Funk. Nope. <laughs> I don't think that even reached. Every tile is any free tile. You showed me that even weeds and I've been thinking about that for a while, yeah. Or for the, yeah, for the <laughs> in between streams. Whoa. We're the, we're the shape, I guess. Okay. But the, whoa, that's a lot of hit vents. What is it, like a mini boss or something? <laughs> why, why is there such a big trajectory? So they come from here and then here. And oh, here, around here. Okay, so this is the exit, which we could cover there, and then just... Interesting, <laughs> This is a really goofy one. Okay, yeah, it's also coming from here. Yeah, but all, all, the, all the exits are here. Now we've got good old Ifrit tile here. And then everything else, I guess. Okay, but we can just see as we, as we go. <laughs> Didn't sign up to play CC in off season. Understandable. Flying the sights. This. Up here we go. Yeah. Similar. Hmm. I didn't realize they were also charged the enemies. Um. Oh, no, I was, I was thinking maybe they were just going tile by tile, but nope. Oh, no, they are. All right. Can't you hear the children's cries? Can your eyes keep up? It's all good. Oh, I thought their range was longer. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I do, I do fear who is going to come from this side. <laughs> Wonder about that. Hellfire. Locked hmm. and loaded. And they flex your crowd control, yeah. Never, ever yeah. Crowd control the maxing or <laughs> whatever. Mm, yes. Right, because then we can place up here too. Just vibing to the music as we go. Okay. Just gonna wait, okay. Oh, you guys. Interesting. Hmm. I guess with, yeah, with, with you here, we can activate those two. Um, they're about to activate. Oh, right. She attacks them first. Can't you feel the city's crumbling away? Good, but they have little detail. Whoops. <laughs> Let those pass for now. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, we'd be throwing right now. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I just hold them there. Just hold them in the Ifrit line. Perfect. Oh, well, one got away. Oh, wait, if I can... Yeah, if I can attack them from here. Yo, so yeah, like this. Yeah. As they are slow down there. Cool. That works. Okay. Well, I think we're good on... Yeah, definitely good on this. Jeez, blow them up. 
And activate the vents, and you're done. You're done. Yeah. Okay, cool. Does it hurt? I guess, yeah, we, we could use another sniper here. Oh, dang. It's a lot of them. It's fine. We, we got our last resort here. We have a lot of resorts, actually. you here just in case oh wait, actually if I place them up yeah I would have charged that faster it's so good no one gets away no no one's getting away from that one at least see you on the next one actually I'll do that because <laughs> I don't have any others to place up there. For the time being. Yeah, unless these ones get away, which I don't think they will. I think that's uh, it's already cooked. The, the goose was cooked. The taxi driver from High Somnium File said. <laughs> we really were. The, the, yeah, it is the gatekeeping sta station. Oh, interesting. Go to five over here. Whoa. Okay, I saw this one before. What the heck? Right, so the vents heat towards us, but they are. How much is it? Four? How many tiles do you shoot forward? Or five? I think it's five, right? Yeah, it's five. So it does reach. Yeah, it does reach all the way. But I mean, if we have healers there, that shouldn't be a problem. We can just attack from the sides. Oh, actually, yep. Double Ifrit tile. <laughs> Ifrit and uh, Yameta tile, technically. <laughs> so that, that works for us. Less dawdling. Come um, on. Yeah, second skill. Less dawdling. Hmm. Come on. It's gonna take me long enough at this challenge mode. Uh, this one or the previous one? I'm assuming you meant this one, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not messing with challenge mode right now, obviously, but. I do wonder what it is. Hmm. I guess, yeah, Dorothy will go for those type of stages. Maybe Dorothy could help in that one. Or in the previous one if there's a, if the challenge mode is tougher. What is the challenge mode? Oh, recover this if you want to tag and have this. Okay, so yeah, they probably don't get slowed down as often. <laughs> Interesting. One of those things where yeah, you see the what the challenge mode is, and you're like, oh that's just that, and then it actually it actually changes a lot of <laughs> how the, the the thing works. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. We could get another healer. But no, let's do this come for now. We could also do another yeah, other guards in other areas, but I think we're okay. I think. Oh, no, no, not this one. I think we're okay. Oh, there's also this. Oh, because there's drones, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad I noticed the drones before that. <laughs> or the, the drone tile thingies. Hmm. Seems these are literally contingency. Yeah, they're the contingency contracts. I must have seen since events just but hidden longer. Biggest challenges plus 20% stats when they get doubled with enemy. Oh, with enemy overcharge. Yeah. Okay, that's some stuff because, yeah, you, you definitely gotta play a lot more with the timing in that one. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, maybe for this one. Because we only need, yeah, can you. Replace you. Get XZ back no here. A better leader than me. You've got a I good guess. Eye. I mean, because I still want the... Um... Hmm. Yeah, because I... Oh, well, actually, we don't need Chubby for this one. We... <laughs> what was that? Um, She doesn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's not a marksman, so she doesn't prefer the, dr the drones to... Um... The aerial. 
So I don't know how good she will be for the drones. So I don't know. I think I'll get... Oh, um, um, yeah. I think I'll get Chris for now. Hi, everyone. I'm here to slap Hi, Konkon. Welcome. Tiferet says he's single man. <laughs> why, why did you say ghost shot like that? <laughs> why did you do her like that? Dang. First try and everything. So far, so far, we'll see. I I mean, I, I guess I could afford to risk it and try... And try out cold shots. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Hope <laughs> you're doing well, Konkon. Everything seems to be going well. So what do you mean by... Attacks, what is it? Oh, prioritizes single man. Wait, are you talking about... Oh, I do... <laughs> You're not talking about the actual skills, right? Or are you? <laughs> Maybe you are, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm overthinking here. Uh, attacking, attacking all the slower loaded. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking that she will be good with drones, because maybe she just has like really high attack when they are passing through. You know what, let's try it out, I am curious. I still prefer the well, let's just, well, let's just see how it goes. Guy. Well, see. yeah, I, I, I gotta check out. <laughs> okay. Hey, what do you mean? Squeeze the trigger. <laughs> Live up to duty. Oh, okay. See, that's that's what I never account for. <laughs> I will not back okay, down. yeah, of course. Of course, there's drones. Which is good. She's level 30, not gonna help us. Much. Yeah, I don't... I, I was thinking about waiting to build her more, but... Oops. A new challenge. But I don't know. Well, let, let's see. Oh, the drone is here. And homeland fading Man. into nothing. She's gonna get memories. yeah blasted by the fire instantly. I guess yeah, that doesn't do that just yet. I can probably go with oh gosh, uh uh Black Yes. Okay, don't kill don't kill her. Okay, because you're gonna kill her. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, we can we can figure this out. Oh yeah. Oh, sure didn't consider that, yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes from here. Oops. A true battle. I'll just, yep, for, for now. Let's right see here. This stage fun stuff made me pay attention to the vent. Yeah, it, it really is like. There's a lot of stages, or yeah, in, in events, right? You can go up to a certain point without like, really paying attention to the mechanics, and then suddenly it like. Okay, now now you really gotta pay attention. <laughs> what? You've got time to take in the fight. So Yeah. Okay. She'll be she'll be fine. Okay, I saw that drone go around. I don't know exactly what it did. But I'm taking any chances. Dang, these vents are not playing. Well, I guess I could have placed her. Yeah, I should have placed her further back because she's gonna. Yep, she's dead. There we go. So good. We've got those for now. This. Get some killer or healing over to. Number two, Chiovai. Uh oh. Well. Right. Don't think. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> don't think she's gonna be fine after that. Okay. This definitely changes my <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Interesting. She, she'll be fine. Well, you know. Any no, I don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> Didn't go as well as I was expecting. Yeah, it's a good place to here. It's a good place. Oh, got Chovai. Hopefully, Chovai, she can survive. Survive, Chovai, please. Oh, okay, barely. Oh, wait. 
Where, where do you think you're going? Oh, you, you are going. Oh, okay. So thank you for stopping there. Very awfully kind of you. Oh wait, uh, 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 can we just kill that one? Oh gosh, uh, can we, can we, can we kill this one? Yeah, let me just, um, how, how about you attack over here? Yeah, 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 just attack over here. I guess I could've used the skill, it's fine. Yeah, we're getting back to it, so slowly. Slowly but surely. That was an okay attack. This does hit them. Okay, nice. Actually, did pretty well. Get in the line of death. Wait, 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 skill. The big Melantha skill. Oh gosh. Okay, get you, get you out for now. Let's get you here. Don't, do not. Um, you can reach him from here. It's all good. I don't like damage unless it's necessary. Okay, destroy that one. <laughs> take, take, care, take care of that resistance. Oh, do we the skill? The the deal with these ones as fast as we can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. I, I thought when perfumer was there that yep, things weren't gonna go so well. Oh. We're almost there though. Yes, you. Okay, one more hit. One, one more hit. There we go. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, Fufu Raid. Hi. Hello. How, how's it going? Welcome, everyone. What is. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the raid, Mr. Fufu. Go. How, how's it going? Hi. Th this is. <laughs> Well, a few times I got raided. Thank you so much. Welcome. Well, welcome Hatsune Miku. Wow. I got Hatsune Miku and but Fufu streams. Cool. Hi, Faye. Welcome. Sunitamo Mohanti. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Horinoid. Oh my gosh, my chat is breaking. Uh, what is happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, um, uh, did I miss anyone? Uh, okay, sir. Yes. You're, you're not late. Don't worry. Hatsune Miku in the chat. Hell yeah. The real Hatsune Miku, yeah. <laughs> oh, Fe Faye? Is it Faye? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Hana, welcome, Hana. <laughs> uh, Sunita, Leon. Uh, just making sure I'm not missing anyone. And Fufuko, obviously. <laughs> Hi! How's it going, everyone? We're playing through the EX stages, as, as you can see, as you can see from the thumbnail, as you can see from the title. I don't think I need to explain that. <laughs> Well, hey, how, how are you guys doing? What were you going? What what were you guys playing? Were you also playing Ark Knights? Good stream. <laughs> Thank you, Fuku. I appreciate that. Roadside ambush. Yeah, I was not expecting. I was all locked in on the stage, and then suddenly, whoa! What? what? <laughs> oh, thank you, Hannah. Credits. Our credits on the description. Please tell me they are. Yeah, credits to the art and rig are in the description. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. You know, we gotta we gotta support each other, streamers. <laughs> uh, Alan Murchata, welcome. Cooper raid. Yeah. <laughs> We're not playing anything. No, just hanging out or something. Cool. Thank you for well, well, welcome. Yeah, everyone. Thank you for the raid. Hope you enjoy your stay. Um, I'm gonna continue to the next stage, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy your time here. What the heck? Um, and yeah, hope <laughs> you enjoy your time. And if, you know, if you gotta go, no worries. Uh, appreciate that. <laughs> Hopefully, there's more raid because this is my friend. We'll see. We'll see. I guess. Mm. Because I don't have the redirect feature on YouTube, sometimes I don't do uh, raids. But uh, I guess we'll see. Some, sometimes I do see at the end of the stream if we have enough people that we can maybe do a raid. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ala. Thank you for, uh, for subscribing. I think my alerts are broken, so I apologize if you, you don't show up. But I just know I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the subs. 
Last year, Mouse gone one game award. This year is gonna be Aaron. Wait, 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 hold on. I don't know about that. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. <laughs> That'd be some crazy, uh, what do you call it? Underdog. <laughs> Underdog. <laughs> uh, man, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> Yeah, broke the alert. They might have been broken, yeah. I mean, my chat broke, so yeah, they, they wouldn't be surprised if the alerts are so, also broke. <laughs> anyway. First raid? Well, yeah, hope you enjoyed your first raid, yeah. This is really, really, really cool. This this is, um... I got raided in the past, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always really, really appreciated. Thanks for spending. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't play Robux Hatsune Miku, but hey, I got I got respect for that. No, no, nothing wrong about playing some Roblox. It does seem fun. I, I just you know, aesthetic is not personally for me, but I do appreciate it. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life is Roblox. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Colombian hackers. Yeah, you'd be like that. <laughs> All right, so I'll continue playing with this, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy your stay. And again, if you, if you gotta go, no no worries about that. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you once again, yeah, for the for the raid. <laughs> well, that, that was completely unexpected. Sorry, it won't. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll keep it going now. Okay, so let's see what the strategy should be for this stage. We got oh, we got two exits. Let me notice that right away because sometimes I. I don't notice. Um, we got the two, three entrances. I, I don't know which way these well, these guys are gonna come out of, and we have the burning floor. So I guess if we hold people here, right? Because they also take damage from this, right? From the floor, I think enemies also take damage. I could be wrong though. I don't I don't know. There there are some elements that only enemies take damage with. So I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, if we just hold them here, well, we should be fine. Then on this side we can probably just defend safely. Okay, someone is coming downstairs here and then coming out here. So we gotta watch that too. And I think we will... Oh, I think this is yeah, this is not floor. So I don't think yeah, they will. It is not floor. So they, they will be coming out this way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is more so a uh, safer workspace. Hatsune, <laughs> thank you for asking though. I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> is this stage where devs remember they have spiders in the vents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for the heads up. I do have some rules that they might be a little... Because I haven't tweaked them in a while, but I do have some rules in the description. So if you guys uh, would like to check those out. You know, it, it's all chill here. It's nothing, like, crazy that you gotta worry about. Um, you'll, you'll be fine. I mean, it is... Though I do appreciate the, the question. It is more... Uh, safe for work again. So yeah, <laughs> I hate spiders. Well, we're about to see some. I'm pretty sure. So uh, just a heads up. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we do with this squad. Sure. Oh, of course, Faye. Yeah, you're you're welcome to throw. Um, if you post it anywhere, I I do have art tag. I think. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. She'll be um. Are in art, I think. I will not back down. So yeah, freak. By the way, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like you know, you can be you can be silly with it. You'll be fine. The fine will be sent to Sargon. The fine will be sent to Sargon. Maybe, maybe so. I think I'm gonna wait until I get Lapland, or I guess we can. Yeah, that that blows us up. Nice. Mm, get some healing. I think I'll get yeah, healing here. I should have. Oh, I should have brought back Shobi, I think. It's fine. We'll, we'll be all right. Definitely. <laughs> Get this. I wasn't paying attention over here. I might be doomed. I'm ready. Yep, I, I am doomed because I wasn't paying attention up here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I was too far. I uh, was too fast to place. Um, what's her face? Ifrit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we raid you later? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, I guess if we find someone to raid. Um, sometimes people are not alive at this time. But yeah. <laughs> Only for science, Hatsune. 
Permission to attack granted. Um, um, I'll, I'll get back to you on that in a bit. <laughs> it's my duty to stand here. I guess uh, his barrel say, you know, just get an idea of like the the vibe, I guess, of, of the chat. And then you'll see like kind of what we, you know, what, what we do say, what we don't say, and stuff like that. <laughs> that if that makes sense. Okay, now now I have this area covered. Um, do we want to? Um, should we get Lapland first? I think we should get Lapland first, no matter what. Yeah. We can get Defender later. Yeah, yeah, we, we should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Can't you feel the city's crumbling away? Okay, should have waited until that. It's fine. Mm, we can have some healing on this side. So, okay, to say whoop instead of crap. Yeah, yeah. You can say crap. I don't, I don't know, Adam. <laughs> some, some, some interesting questions you guys are bringing up to this, to this stream today. Okay, we are here. Okay, yeah, definitely placing Chovai on that other side. As soon as I have an OTP. Because, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this, guys. What the? Oh, that guy is strong. <laughs> Any instructions for me? I think I'll do the replacement right away. Yep. A true This is the right place to set. Shake all you want. Nobody cares. Take the skill. Come on. Um, yeah. This is your excuse for evil. Help the healing a little bit. Hmm. That plays this game. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's a fun game. Does it hurt? I bet it does. Just you know, challenging enough and all that. <laughs> Respect to fellow doctors, exactly. Do this very well, family friend. Yeah, that, that's what I should have said from the beginning. Mister Fufuka fan, so we weird too. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. They do say chat reflects the streamer, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off now because I need some sleep. No problem, Faye. Let's go. Hope you get some good rest. And thank you so much for coming by. And for the raid uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're just playing around here. I think... Well, let's see. We, I think we still have another wave coming, so... This seems to be leading us into a false sense of security, I'm pretty sure. Can we... Let's see if we can do some stuff here. I guess Ifrit on that side would have been, yeah, would have been better now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, it does seem that uh, against the elite enemies, she's uh, she's kind of struggling to say that least. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah, these guys. I already see them before, but okay, that one is in the middle, so that's cool. I don't know, I don't know who... Oh, this, this sniper is attacking. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we can do one more... Ah, no, I, I risk it too much. It's fine. Can try... Can try this for now. I'm gonna wait until someone steps in the front, which will be tough, because Lapland is just dealing with them. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I probably could have placed... I mean, it does breach the range. If I can charge the skill in time, maybe I can get a little bit of damage. Nope, I didn't grab low in time, so never mind. <laughs> well, I can get one of them, hopefully. Sorry, but I have to go. It's almost 1 a.m. by the way, I will come uh, tomorrow by the way. No problem, Sunita. <laughs> yeah, good night. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope, uh, hope you all get some good rest, because, yeah, I mean, if it is late for you guys. 
definitely, definitely get as much as you need. Okay, so I think we'll fine. I think we're fine from here. Didn't didn't even get to activate the skill, but it's all good. We still have another enemy though. Oh no, they, these are all the four. Okay, all the four the four remaining ones. Yeah. Yeah, but it does seem like Cold Shield yeah, against the elite enemies. Yeah, she be struggling. Jo not a problem for Chovai though. <laughs> Chovai hard carry once again. Yep. Mission complete. Look, this much is grand. Same as Hutel main like club. Yeah, Hutel was one of my first mains in uh, Kenshin. Pretty cool. Can't fit to Roblox nine hours per day. Well, you know, if you if you have the time to do that, sure. Flex my Ganyan Hotel. Uh, server am I? Uh, it should be the America servers for Genshin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I occasionally stream Genshin. Not, not super often, but uh, yeah, occasionally. If you do, yeah, if you do then that's cool. Okay, so this is, this is seven. Yeah, this is not the boss fight. Boss fight should be eight. It's just the, the layout kind of scared me. It's interesting. This layout seemed small. I don't know. They, they seem small, but you know, they're actually pretty complex. I guess because of the AOE cast, oh, AOE bombers, they're actually tougher than you'd expect. Uh, a momentary but hard throw instant. Got the fence here. So this is the exit. Oh, we can we can get like a puller here. Don't have... You know who I, I should definitely build? Wait. Um, Gladia. Yeah, Gladia, I haven't been doing a great job at building her. Definitely do that. Have you noticed the stage names? Uh, I haven't noticed some of them. Usually I notice the main story ones. But these ones... Oh. Yeah, okay, I noticed the... Yeah, squeeze the trigger. Hug the hammer, yeah. Change the grip, release the safety, hug the hammer, align the signs, squeeze the trigger, slide recoil, bullets fired. Oh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the call out on that, Konkon. I guess I didn't actually. Code right in? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess if you guys have any anyone that we should we we will recommend. Um, but I will also be looking into like who who is live that I know, that I am sub to and that I know and stuff like that. Um, if not, then I guess I could ask you guys if you have any advice, any, any advice, any recommendations. Uh, but for now, we still got like probably an hour left, or less than an hour, hopefully, um, left of the stream. So yeah, I guess we, we have some time to to figure that out. Um, okay, here, this one's probably coming to the side. Yeah, so, I wonder, is Gladius S2 good, or should I just, it's uh, 3 forward, or should I just go for Clayfart instead, or is it even needed, right, because sometimes it's it has this little, like, you know, pusher-puller recommendation areas, and they actually, they, they actually aren't that necessary, but, I don't know, I, I'm willing to play the game of the, that the game is playing for me, I guess. That the game is recommending. Can you say Am America? Yeah. I I, 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 I can, apparently. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should have read Love Girl. <laughs> the Love Girl skills are good, depending on how frequent the enemy waves are. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, I guess I'll try it out, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, though. Wishes were weird, but enemies cross diagonals, had some situations on multiple events when S1 doesn't push enemies all the way into the hole. Yeah, I've seen that too. Oh, okay, so what I was thinking is pulling these enemies? Or I guess one enemy, right? Because it will be... Yeah, it just increases the attack interval. But yeah, that that is more of a pusher, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, now that you say that. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Not at this hour, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, sure. Let, let's get a. I mean, let's see how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can get. Do I have enough to get another? I mean, I could get a pusher here. <laughs> just in case, you know, pooler doesn't work. I can just. I mean, I guess Shaw is the one that I have. Yeah, either, either Shaw or Enforcer, but I guess Enforcer does more stuff technically. So. Sure. Well, how fast? Okay, they, they load as fast. The, the same as this, this skill. Understood. So, yeah. Let's go with that. Then. We don't see any free tile. I mean, this will this could technically be any free tile. Or, like, here, I guess. Here or over here. One, one of those <laughs> could be. But for now, let's just. Yeah. I stay over there, Kalakami, Len, and Rin. <laughs> Push pull distance depends on skill level, this is on target, weaker skill. Yeah, I'm pushing ahead the enemies, the pushing gets a bit more complex. Yeah, the diagonal pushing is interesting. Hmm. Can land it to Enforcer? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we need him. But uh, appreciate the other, <laughs> appreciate the suggestion. But yeah, the, the way definitely, definitely affects the... Uh, this way. Can your eyes keep up? I'm ready. Let me wait until you're in range. Yep. Can't you hear the children's cries? Oh, cool entrance. Any instructions? Come on, let's pick up the pace. Can I reach? Yeah, I can probably reach. I, I, I'm so used to wide range medics. Yeah, that I'm like, yeah, I can probably reach this. Then again, I think I'm gonna place here. Oh boy, wait, uh, we need another uh, whelp. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's retry that one. Bravo. A man killed by Victorian flag. Dang. Yeah, should, have, should have done the opposites. Should have placed Salish in the middle and then on the other side. Yep. One block bargains, uh, Vanguard is back, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll do this instead. And flame till here, yeah, that, that should work. Should work better, at least. Don't think I need gladiators yet, so... Mm. I guess I could always... Go with this. I mean, I don't know who's coming out of that side. Hopefully, it's not someone I gotta silence. But we'll see. Also, yeah, I forgot about the, um, the drone tiles. But yeah, okay, this is so, so far so good. Don't need to skill just yet. Oh, here we go. Gonna need some crowd control. Oh, wait, I just realized that Chova is gonna get hit by that. Uh, let's see if we have you here. Maybe that can help. Oh, that hits Gladia. Whoops. Um, um, can, I, can I pull that one? Yeah, I can pull that through. <laughs> don't think she's gonna survive it though. No, you wanna replace it. Okay. I needed, uh, needed the healer to be there earlier. Hmm. Oh. oh, the drone is up there. I was hoping it would be further down. Well, right. oh, oh, wait, someone went back. Oh, these guys. Okay, whoops. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, I was too focused on that side. Doctor, this time I'll stay. Hurry and take the others to okay, safety. It's okay. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Game gets complex real quick, but it's all fun. Tons of room for striking unique feels. Yeah. It's, it's cool how, you know, everyone can have their own playstyle. So, from what I've seen, I think I am gonna place Enforcer instead of uh, Gladia, just so they can push... Maybe I'll, I'll switch to the first skill then. A new mission? And then, yeah, instead of Gladia... Uh, I need someone else that slows someone down. Or I guess having Nexus on the top tile will be useful too. Just in case, I could also have like. 
15. Hello. She's expensive though, I gotta remember that, not just get her right away. So yeah. Bullets fired, here we go. Will my story survive? I think about that all the time. Oh yeah, the Arknates is not super heavy. I will not back down. Uh, it does take some uh, some space, but yeah. <laughs> it's not like Genshin size. But I guess if you already have Genshin on your phone, then you yeah, it might be a little... Eyes? Might be a little heavy still. Me. I guess... Yeah, we can just leave all these areas free. Feels fresh and feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now let's place these guys here first. Oh, the healer first here, I mean. Oh boy. So this reaches... Okay, that doesn't reach all the way over there. So if anything, this and this side I could place... Chilvai, yeah. See if that works. Oh, touch their attacks! Don't let them get through! We'll simply have different viewpoints. No oh boy. Don't repent to my soul. Oh boy, oh boy, don't, 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 don't kill her! Don't kill her, please! Okay, she's, she's, she's fine. Oh, oh, don't let this one through! Nice! Okay, push him. Oh, nice! Dang, they barely survived. Jeez. I'm ready. Guess. I need to. Oh, yep. There you go, AoE. Mm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, from here we can heal both of them. Yeah. That's. Yep. That, that's a bit of a problem. I guess I could. Yep. Bait the attacks from here. So much to focus on in this one. I mean, it is the seventh stage, so it makes sense, right? But jeez. Oh, with the skill, please. Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is as far as you go. Jeez, nice. Um, probably deal with you here. Hopefully. Gosh. Well, I don't, I don't know about this one. Oh come on! Oh, we need we need some more. We need something more. Um, here, let me slow you down. Uh oh, no! I should have done that earlier. Come on! Ooh, that was close. This is, uh, this is fine. <laughs> Wait, Jessica's in trouble over there. I need that, and I can place the, the bags. I can place the bag. Uh-oh. I will hear you all out afterwards. <laughs> Won't hear you out right now. Don't mess with me. This is as far as you go. No, you did it. You did it too fast, Enforcer. It's not good. Okay, ma maybe now I should switch to the other skill On of uh, Jessica. Any uh oh, okay. They, these guys. Yep, these guys are just getting through. Dang. Yep. I was gonna lose that one, honestly. <laughs> Liz Grunt. <laughs> I think if we just get the um, the Kumi there, so she can heal herself, right? That could be fine. And then what is what is Jessica's third skill? Like range plus one. Okay, so forward. Second divine increases. Right. Okay, yeah, that's with the that's what the riot shield does. Yeah. Only for the seconds. Okay, so that that's something. I don't know if we need 
Like Enforcer had did help like push some over, but I feel like some some didn't get pushed over as much as they could have. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, there's plenty of guys too, <laughs> is what I'll say. <laughs> and Foster clipping the mob into a corner instead of the hole is an animation quirk, yeah. Fidora does the same thing on fast enemies, makes sense, yeah. Hmm. It's all time my life has 55 seconds played. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. Go get, go get some Ifrit action instead of Enforcer. Or... I mean, like I said, we could also have Dorothy. Let's try, let's try one with Dorothy, sure. Instead of pushing them over, just uh, run to the side, yeah. Situation dire enough to pull out Gumi. <laughs> Bringing the, the big guns. Did I? Yeah, okay, I, I was like, I actually did, I did do that, right? Yeah. It's my duty to stand here. Proof of Raid turning to stream watch. <laughs> More, there we go. Can your eyes keep up? Your orders Plainty will stay there the way longer than I was expecting, actually. Okay, do we... Mm, well, because we don't need... Dang, I can't reach... Oh, but maybe I can reach... Okay. Guess I need to change the positioning of this, guys. So, like, if I do this, then I could heal... You know what I mean? I could heal that defender. Like, the defender that will be here. But I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Probably am. Oh, nice. <laughs> got that one on the side. Oh, that one got activated, but it's not gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. It's cool. Yeah, activate that one right away. And yeah, joy on this side. Right. Should I place healing before that? Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's have healing before that. Maybe, yeah, Perfumer down would have been better. Let's just let's roll with this for now. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize they were already here. Wait. Oops. See, it's... It's weird that they go this way, right? When the vents are on this side. So only this vent will really affect them. Okay, I then I just gotta be faster. Yeah. <laughs> Chuba's like, I'm not touching him. <laughs> Turned for three and a half hours, yeah. Yeah, I started a little earlier, earlier today. I uh, usually do three at most. But uh, because I had to read through some of the story and then play through the X stages, I decided to... Can your eyes keep up? You yeah, just start, start early and turning against each other. To, uh, to a whole four hours. We'll be able to complete this. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll play the healer right away. Feels fresh. It feels sad to lose your target, doesn't it? Let me create a diversion. Yeah, just gotta pay attention to which ones I should be placing first. Terrain data collection complete. Oh, place that one. Nice. <laughs> and that will also hit you. Nice. Never, ever Bonk. Oh wait, I did not mean to. Block that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Boy, like oh, here, here they come. Okay, it's just. Bombard these guys. The sand will reshape the land. I guess I just the, the only thing is I gotta remember to place those down. No. I 
Yep. Let you take another step. I promise them. Okay, so this one. Your orders, please. And just. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> turning against each other. Oh, nice. Homeland fading into nothing but memories. Actually, yeah, she will get you there. Okay, place you here, and then gum here. Yes. Okay. That's better. Man, it's a, it's a lot to focus on. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not look at if I don't look at chat for a bit. Yes. Yeah, may maybe a caster there would have been better. Just, just, just maybe, you know, I get the impression. Oh, nice. Nice. Oops, oops, oops. Here, there we go. And yeah, place one here. Well, no, actually, yeah, not here. Uh, here. Yeah. So to get the the one two. Man, if only we had more space up there. That would be nice. At least dealing with those is good. Okay. Some that. Yep. Nice. I saw a clip of someone defeating Cliff with uh, with Dorothy just by buffing her super like a lot and making a whole layout where a uh, dude will step and he will just create this massive chain reaction. It was crazy, really cool. Okay, gotta gotta lock in here for a second. There you go. Wait, I couldn't activate it. There, activate it. There we go. Who, who, who died? Oh, they died. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> grab, 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 grab. Just survive for now. Jeez. Focus on that. Oh, you know what? I can do this. That will do so. Oh my gosh! I guess that yeah, the healing wasn't reaching. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, 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 um. Hey, attack over here. What does that sound? Gosh. Chaos at the end. Jeez. Oh, nice. That activated this one and nice, nice, nice. Okay, you you are gonna die, but that's fine. Just activate that one, and they're... <sighs> okay, I was I looked at this to see if someone sneaked by, but no, okay. I did that one. <laughs> that rare moment when 500 defense is not enough. Well, yeah, you know, it had to give at one point. Uh, a surprise GG, but a GG nonetheless, yeah. Okay, last, last stage. Of the stream. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a boss stage for sure. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, bullets fired, direct hit. Yep, yep, that sounds like Lip, alright. Uh, I'm gonna suffer with this one, aren't I? <laughs> we have half an hour to do this. Can we do it? We'll see. <laughs> I might actually have to going to the supports just to be able to beat this and, and we'll see the, the, yeah i wasn't expecting to reach all the way to boss stage but uh well here we are i guess hmm. let's see so there's these ventiles here okay so one exit Three of these, so probably Clip, I'm assuming, gonna come out of here, go around here, and then to the exit. So if we can, like, defeat him here, right? Like, just burst. Burst, get him. How many tiles does... Um, um, 
What am I saying? Uh, not a frit. So I guess... I was trying to figure out how Clip is supposed to be defeated by the... <laughs> by the vents, because, you know, there's that metal thing. If we don't get them right now, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But... I guess it will be in the, down this corridor, right? That, uh, that it will have to be defeated. And I'm assuming... Oh, and then there's... Yeah, it also comes out of here. Oh, so maybe... Oh, maybe he comes out of here and then around here. Okay, yeah, so maybe with this one. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. How did you beat boss last time? Is here stalling? I definitely stalled him with... Uh, good old... Uh, with Spectre? I just used her to, to stall and uh, for... Oh, oh that's right, I, I took her away as well. <laughs> for Chovy to, to burst them, yeah. That, that, that was the way. Hmm. Yeah, that was the way that I did last time. Hmm. Metal is translated, you only need to beat the boss with the event debuff, not by Zamet. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it is it is what Godo was saying earlier, that yeah, you just have to defeat him while he's in the vent, right? While he's getting the debuff from the vent. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. The moment when AK has venting. Hmm. What is the range of clip again? Is it two? So if you play someone here, they will get hit, but if you place here, they won't, I'm assuming. I think it's three tiles, yeah. Or two tiles, yeah. Two, two away. Two tiles, not two diagonally, yeah. So like, yeah, if you play someone here, they won't get hit, but... Yeah. And here probably won't, but you know, once he passes through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Hmm. Okay, so we have this. Style to defend. Just looking at the places where the vent doesn't hit. Oh, and I guess from this side too. Oh, so I guess. Any oh, so is this the tile that the, the side that the boss is gonna come through? Or is it the other? Yeah, like I know, uh, right? Like I don't know which one. Guess we'll see. Oh, that's right. We're gonna get the the, the song. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I play for long enough that we can get to hear it. <laughs> this on the first one. Yeah, prepare your ears. I think there was, uh, yeah, 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 me, I, I'm pretty sure it's in Muse Dash. Because I was watching another VTuber, yeah, Abby play. And I'm pretty sure she was using Amiya, the Amiya skin. So, yeah. <laughs> now we're not live, but we got uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> now we got 20 minutes. I was like, we have 30 minutes, and now I'm stalling. Um, so, who else do we need? Should we... I... I mean, I guess I could try to stall him. I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about the vents. But I guess, yeah, yeah, he just has to be in the vents themselves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, he doesn't have to be killed by the vents. I don't think we need Jean. don't think so. I'll, I'll just take Spectre. Good night, just uh, in case. Then... I guess uh, let's just see what we do. We probably have. We also, I also use Rosa for uh, in in the normal stage. Like Rosa helped out deal with the uh, other ones with um, with these guys. So let's see if I can place Rosa as well on the on the team. I think instead of yeah, because I don't think we'll get spiders. Uh, I mean, but we might get spiders. <laughs> let's try out Rosa. Let's see. Uh, these numbers, or well, yeah, these numbers, these are the character levels, yeah, or here, I guess. But yeah, they, these ones are the levels. Alright, uh, y'all ready for some cool music? Collab is fake. <laughs> Correct hits, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> here it comes. Okay, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's not gonna be the boss, the biggest problem. I mean, it's gonna be a problem, right? But the biggest problem is gonna be... Yes. <laughs> it's, my duty to stand here. it's probably gonna be... Yeah, some, some of these guys, like the AoE. 
stay with you guys. Um, let's go. I don't know why I faced her that way. It's fine. I feel like I should have done the opposite now that I think about it. It's fine. Nope, here it comes. Okay, so the snipers. They go around through that side. Hmm. Yes. Progress are here. Let's wait actually. Just wanna play secret here, so let's with those guys. Oh wait, I was not paying attention. You know, if you if you kill that guy, that would be pretty cool. I'm not gonna. Oh, it's fine. Oh wait. Wait. Um. Dang. Wow. Defeated by the. <laughs> Defeated by the lackey, not by the boss. You have executed a thousand really tell people times, play that character and rate them five stars. <laughs> focus too much on winning and losing, Doctor. You did what you could. Would it, that that will be yeah that <laughs> that'll be funny. But yeah, it's the is a rarity itself. Yeah. Oh, I've heard about uh, Cookie Run Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, there are cases where One four stars can be stronger. But uh, for the most part, six stars are not back down. the way to go. Yes. Well, the like, just the yeah, raw strength, I guess, in in whatever they do, right? If they are healers, like the best healers and stuff like that. But just uh, yeah, it's an oversimplification, obviously. <laughs> It was in Genshin for me. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because a lot of character, a lot of like five stars or six stars in this case have, um, you know, obviously have the six star like have a how do I say more de detailed designs and stuff like that. So yeah, I guess I yeah, I understand the confusion in that regard. Cool on the hit bent, nice. I guess... I mean, I guess I will have to wait and see where Clip rests. Depending on where he rests, could be the... Where to shoot him, right? Yeah, well, let's, I'll just wait for this one. I don't think we're doing it this one. This one, are, we're just we're just scouting for now. <laughs> this, this guy's just... Almost beating the... Yeah, there we go. The city's crumbling away. Get in the I think for now I'll just let the... I'll just let the turrets happen when they happen. The defense I mean activate. Oh, here it comes. Okay, now no new information. So, bros, yes, of course. He's just gonna chill there. I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be scared. Survive that. Oh, I was not paying attention to this side. Oops. Oops. I like how the, the name of the song is The Survivor, The Winner. That's what it's called. It's really cool. Sheath, the sword awaits. Goes, goes hard, as they will say. But what, what just happened? Oh, she got killed. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, really? For because of the sniper? The heck? Thank. Oh, skill activated. Okay, but but now I know he stops there. He is fresh. Come on. Can I just? Nope. <laughs> I bind them. <laughs> bind them there. 
Okay, does he chill there too? Yeah, he chills there too. Interesting. <laughs> he chills there? He chills there. Um, is he here? I guess, yeah, for this one you just gotta like, maybe get a fast redeploy to activate it. Yeah, I, I think the strategy is definitely with events. Like even if you're not trying to get the objective, you probably want him to be, yeah, debuffed and then used up. Because otherwise I can't see how you're, how you're doing this. You here? Wait, do I have the... Oh, no, it is the third skill. Oh, I guess because the third skill isn't activated yet. Okay, where, where is he coming out of now? Oh, tank. Cool sound effect. Oh, uh, can you hit him from here? Yep, yeah, hit him. Nice. Make him fragile. Just a little bit. Okay, so chills there. Get some chills here, chills here. See, they stopped doing that, right? Before they would... They will have the... Yeah, they, they will show you the trajectory of the boss, right? And where he will rest and stuff. And they feels like they kind of forgot about that. Yeah, okay, now I can do that. Yeah, cool. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I was gonna say. She, she can survive that, but, you know, only once. It's like when you, you know, when they say you can only eat the level once. Um, this. Try to tank from here if the skill charges in time. Okay, I was expecting the skill to to activate, but no, she hadn't. Yeah. So good. Uh oh, there it is. Oh, and I didn't activate the skill. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I will place her here, but... Yeah. Too, too late for that. <laughs> okay, that, if that if this one could go, to, could go away, that will be, will be nice. But uh, the timing, <laughs> timing just didn't... Yeah, for that. Oh, dang, the, dang, the debuff does work, though. <laughs> Almost got bro almost got bursted from that. Jeez. Okay, and you're and you're dead, yep. <laughs> Sorry. Can't keep holding for very long. Hopefully long enough to figure it out, at least. Um, let's activate the skill now, yeah. I don't know when he's gonna activate the skill, but... Come on, Ifrit. Yeah, now that one almost surviving. Surprised that we're tanking him for so long. I'm really surprised. Oh, there we go. I mean, I think he can... You can survive that, yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> okay, get him, get him now. Oh wait, I gotta activate the skill first, right? Do that, nice. Jeez. Can I... Does that keep her from taking damage? No. I mean, maybe I can get him through the first phase only, but... Just chaos everywhere. Okay, that's first phase, but... 
We are, uh, we're not doing as well as we could be. Comes. Yep. Um, I don't think the skill lasts long enough for us to. Okay, now I'm gonna activate the skill. Okay, activate this. First time. Nope. Ah, oh, uh, get here. Focusing on too many things. Oh, I wanted to push him back. It's fine. Push him back there. <laughs> nope. You're not moving. You're not moving. Wait, we got him. <laughs> we got him. That being said, there's more enemies coming, so I don't know if we're doing this. Oh. Or maybe we are. Oh, dang. Her Resignore is insane. <laughs> Chubby is for Chubby is Chubby's my goat. Holy crap. Okay, what is the challenge mode? Oh. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Boss has 3500 defense, which boosts Chubby's damage significantly. Dang. <laughs> yeah, no wonder. Yeah, no, no wonder also that. Yeah, Exu, Exu wasn't doing a lot. <laughs> so, because I'm kind of scared of the... Well, we could try it. Does it count if you do it in challenge mode? Not that I think I'll be able to do that, but... You know, we, we could try challenge mode one time. And then... I could try to get the medal, is what I think I should... I, I could focus on. I do want to get the, the challenge mode. Um, but I don't know if I can... I have enough time to do that on stream. But yeah, most likely counts. Okay, let's let's try try challenge mode. If it's just not doable at all, I, or yeah, at this point, uh, without a lot of time investment, we could try. Okay, I'm gonna go in practice mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, metal doesn't count in challenge mode. Oh, interesting. Doesn't? Oh. Okay. Let's just try challenge mode. Just. Normally then, and then I guess we can try grinding some the the, the normal mode to get that. Um, let's see. I will say, yeah, Jessica with the with the briefcase that was yeah that definitely helped clutch it out <laughs> at the end. I feel big part of the help. Um, Rosa going to help just like you know hold it hold it there. I feel like it might be even easier with. Um, with the vents, right? Because we have the debuff, the debuff, I mean. But um, who can I get? Who can I replace? Because I think we can have Gumi to survive the attacks. In the front. Um, I don't know. Because this, this side with Ifrit worked. It, it was just, you know, obviously Cliff came through here and just, yeah, wrecked uh, poor Gumi. Then again, no, yeah, because we are we are all over here, yeah. So we, we wouldn't be in Cliff's range. When he activate the skill, hmm. Okay. I brought the same in Lone Trail, where there's this metal sister in challenge mode, but it doesn't count. Oh, I see. I have to go and raid. No worries, Allah. Yeah, we're raiding in like ten minutes, probably. Yeah. Oh, when you had to let Dorothy live. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Huh, weird. But I guess, well, I guess in, in that one it makes sense, because it's easier. I don't know if they, like, if they do that often. If that, that's what they do normally. But yeah. So, who can I play? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we can do without Rosa. For the most part. 
I feel like I, mean, I can obviously figure out how to use her a lot better. But for now, I think I'll try gravel for the, um, to activate the vents. Let, let's see how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> just gonna try that out. At least the buff is only on the boss and not on the other guys. Don't waste too much energy on the road. That, uh, that definitely helps. Oh, debuff him. I don't know if he will debuff enough, but yeah, it could be a strategy for sure. I like how, yeah, this just foreshadows immediately that <laughs> this is gonna be, it's gonna add to the difficulty. Can your eyes keep up? Your orders, can't you hear the children's cries? Mm. So before, Perfumer was doing good, but she got, she got killed. <laughs> Gotta get it rid over here. Any instructions for me? Peace, fresh, Abby, come on! Let's pick up the pace! <laughs> so good. Mm, this good old hit rid. Think. Yeah, let's use that now. <laughs> They're gonna gain that buff. Get in the line of death. And when the band deactivates. Now we, now we activate this. Unless they lose the buff there, yeah. Oops, yeah, those snipers are a problem. So, yeah, let's, let's place Chovy here. Charge up the skill. Challenge buff. Oh, challenge mode buff. Something missed by thirty percent on all stats. Plus the challenge mode stays specific. Oh, that. Okay, so just just for having challenge mode it buffs. Interesting. Hey, you guys are real bosses of this event. Yeah. Mm. Challenge mode buff on top of the specific buffs with overcharge. That's wild. So yeah, make, makes want. sense. Nobody cares. Mm. Can't you this. hear the children's cries? Eh? Just gotta watch, gotta watch your health. Nice we're fine still. And coming okay. down. Okay, now activate the skill. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Now I can. Whoops. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, you. Man. Man, these guys, oh, these guys have a lot of resistance. Sorry, I was pay paying attention to this side. <laughs> If I had activated this faster. Dang. <laughs> These guys are strong. They they really be the Something's not right. The boss. What the heck? I guess they are yeah, they are elite. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even the challenge or the the, 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 the actual buff of the boss, but I'm an expert in escaping the challenge mode looks tough. If it held through round one, round two, I mean. I'll see you later, Ella. Then I'll see more to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I need to figure out this side because this side is gonna distract me. Unless I, I guess if I just place. Yeah, if I just place Gumi, and then like take her out, and then. Yeah, it plays just someone else today. Because after the AOE guy is just snipers, so yeah, maybe maybe that is the answer. I don't know. <laughs> let's uh, okay, let's try this out. So it's just yeah, it has to be everything. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, 
They made me the captain, so I'm the one calling the shots here. Welcome back, Ella. Okay, last. Uh, oh, it's already two p.m. So last couple tries. Uh, if we lose fast, uh, yeah, last last couple tries. If not, probably last try for now. But I mean, we got the we got the maniac stages, you know, which is something. <laughs> Perfumer for now. Perfumer is back on the yeah like <laughs> bullet, bullet sponge <laughs> grind. I guess if I could, oh he does go around. I was like if I could defeat him from here, that'd be nice. Oh right, uh, that's why I need to get the DP. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's going up there. It's fine. Chubby just deals with these guys. I guess Chubby could also deal with us. We just need to get another Chubby. <laughs> we need Chubby Alter. And it's just the same. It just does the same thing. <laughs> it's just another Chubby. Strongest or students versus weakest paramilitary grenade launchers. Today's post mortem will not be clean. Yeah, Nobody unfortunately cares. not. Like Here comes Clip. Or clip, yes. <laughs> yes. Your orders, please. Mm -hmm. This. This. Uh -huh. I guess. Well, let's see. I was like, if we can try to get at least the normal, mo uh, the normal metal. Yep, got him. Nice. Okay, now to see how that works. Um, I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I'll be able to burst him in time. Okay, now that he's deactivated, let's try the skill. I'm gonna activate it now. Oh, who died? Oh, who died? Oh, yeah, perfumer. <laughs> oh dang! He's strong. I thought I thought the buff the buff would have been, an, or I thought the debuff would have been enough. But I guess no. Jeez. Let's see if we combine them there. I mean, kinda. Oh come on. She oh she she tanks it thanks. Ah <laughs> uh, she's not tanking that anymore. Yeah well at least they activated it. <laughs> Keep screaming. And well it debuffed a little. Nearly enough but it's fine. Yeah, okay, so just, just having Gumi on this side helps. Stack <laughs> here a little. Uh, yeah. Take <laughs> that now. And boom. Yep. Oh, okay. So we just gotta, yeah, look for these enemies. And then it will activate the boss, I guess. Mm. Oh, whoops. Oh, they got the, 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 the buff. Let me activate this real quick. Um, that destroyed the box, but it's fine. It's, 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 it's fine. Yeah, it is fine. Okay. Whew. Can I hit him from... No. Nice. 
<laughs> Just vibing out here. Okay, there we go. Um, so we just activated his. Oh, he's just gonna chill there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just chill there for a bit. I was actually. Yeah, I was trying to do the opposite. Yeah, actually, but change that. <laughs> For the skill just yet. Dang, yeah, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. It's okay though. Can, come on, this guy. Okay, that's, that's a skill. Oh, dang! Can survive that? It's going to wild. She you can survive that though. <laughs> I just need this guy to get away so I can. So I can place Chovy. It's okay. Whoops. I just need to, this guy to get away. Please. Thank you. Well, that, that guy's gonna show up anyway. Um, That's a wrap. Okay, I'll, almost a wrap. <laughs> Hold him there. Place that. Oh, she doesn't have the. Oh, the skill is inactive. Yeah, the timing is. I would have whack, as they will say. Come on, kill them, kill them. Kill them before they can get here. Okay. Only could activate the skill. No, I didn't activate the skill. Okay. Gonna have problems on this side anyway. It's not not great timing for that. <laughs> Come on. This. Yeah, no. Wait, 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 we're done, yeah, because this side <laughs> gonna leak through. Is it my turn? Okay. Barely. <laughs> okay, we can be a little patient. Dang! Oh, and dude teleported over there. Up and there, yep, use the skill again. Goodbye, Jessica. Jeez, yeah, yeah. This, this boss, with this boss, things fall apart very fast. <laughs> Goodbye, Clip. Yep, no, the bomb won't let her kill her, at least. But yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Jeez, that was crazy. No, no, this one is in challenge mode, yeah. I was just trying to get the medal. And I think, we, yeah, I just need to tighten up the timing a little more. But that's fine, okay. That's it for this time. Well, we got to the main stages on normal mode. We got a uh, we got good old Jessica, which Jessica was very useful. I uh, definitely will be um, yeah using her a lot more for the for that fight because she really helped out with the the briefcase. That was fun. Yeah, that's a good stream. Yeah, we got we got basically everything. <laughs> Starting not gonna read themselves. Wait, what? I, th I think I missed a lot in chat. I, I apologize. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not used to chat moving like this, you know, usually, so yeah, I apologize if I missed a lot of things. This first stream. I'm glad it was fun. Um, Alright, let's see who we raid in. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna ask you guys to behave, alright? <laughs> Some of the streams that I watch are a little more, more chill. So, um, if I go to, you know, stream, yes, you know, obviously go and, and announce the raid and all that, but, you know, obviously don't, don't press them to do anything or don't, 
you know, don't 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 push them. You know, like I said before, you know, just kind of get the idea of the chat, get the vibe, and you know, be, be respectful. Obviously, it's the, the least I could ask. So, um, yeah, give me give me a second. Um, you can still hear me. You can't hear the the PC. Oh, never mind. Okay, oh, man, there was a stream that I wanted to send you guys to, but no live anymore. It's unfortunate. Um, who else could it be? Have someone else. We got Mie. <laughs> Mie is live right now, but I don't know if I, uh... Yeah, there's a couple, but I don't know. We could go to a bigger stream, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, Siracus and yeah. <laughs> Great stream. Thank you so much, Alba. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. No, Siracus <laughs> Um, I can't see anyone from the people who I'd like to uh, raid at this time. So if you guys have any suggestions, I, uh, I, I welcome them. Uh, yeah, if, if we don't, we could just end the, end the stream. It's fine. And you know, I guess you can, you guys can go check out all their um, all their streamers. I don't know who that is, Allah. Is, is that the name of the of the streamer? Let's see. Well, it seems to be, yeah. Uh, the one who's playing Final Fantasy VII. Because uh, if it's then, then maybe. Yeah, sure. Let me let me just check out there. There's stuff. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII plug, indeed. Sure. Okay. Seems seems good. All right. <laughs> Let me uh, link you guys to the stream. And again, you know, just like, it was very overwhelming. I will say when I got rated. So you know, obviously, yes. Show them uh, lot of support, a lot of love, but also. You know, try not to overwhelm it too much. Yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, VII Rebirth. I, I do want to play them eventually, so I probably won't be sticking around too much. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me check out this. There we go. So, that's their link. Uh, I will share it after I finish. So, next stream will be next week. I will be posting also videos next week. I already posted a video of Tears of Kingdom throughout the week, and I, like, I, I, like I said, I will be taking a break for the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy the weekend, get some chill, chill time, enjoy with uh, with family, with whoever you want to, you know, <laughs> enjoy with, just just chilling, you know. And uh, I think that's it. I don't know, are we, are we missing anything? Uh, I will share the link right after this. So yeah. I, okay, my, my chat is completely broken, so I'll, I'll just send a message. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you for the raid once again. <laughs> I'm Aaron, and I'll see you guys next time for more Arc Nights. Goodbye, everyone. And here's the link. All right. Frontier Free Weekend, yeah. <laughs> Check them out. Support them. And, uh... Yeah. Take care, everyone. <laughs> thank you so, so much for watching, and thank you for all your messages. See y'all next time. for wear every time I see you. Are you doing all right these days, Doctor?